All right. Uh, so I guess now you understand what the plan was. Absolutely. At Colts Law, we talk Indianapolis Colts football. We're going to stick to what we know, fundamentals and technique, 1% better every day. What's going on, Colts Nation? I'm Lawrence Owen. With me, as usual, is my guy, loyalist. (laughs) And today, we have the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm just going to let you know real quick, if you want to watch this game with us on the exact same stream that we're watching you are more than welcome to use the discord link that i just now dropped into the live chat i will drop that periodically if the night goes on but hey it is what it is and also guys if you're gonna watch it watch it with us please remember to be nice about things don't drop spoilers in the chat let us react with our own actual honest reaction we are we'd appreciate that what's going on mike b-ball shreyless and then Chaz. what's going on don't forget to also smash that like button all right we appreciate that very 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 much uh well today as many of you know i mean we went through the all week we've had a ton, a ton of content, uh, obviously. It's just been non-stop content from Sunday to today. You know, from Sunday to Sunday. It's just been stupid crazy. So, we're going to find out what happens today. You know, uh, was this the right move with Jeff Saturday? Who knows? We'll find out. The one thing I do want to see, though, from this Jeff Saturday-led team, he's supposed to be a leader and an inspirer. This team needs to come out hot mm. right off the bat, right? Absolutely, because you know we've talked all week. This this Raiders team is not coming in on this wave of momentum or anything. You know, this is a team that you know in a different way is probably in the same same case as we are. So that both teams are going to probably be fighting and scrapping and clawing for everything they can get today. Absolutely. So today. We're going to sit here. We're going to watch this game. I'm hoping my head ain't down the whole time. I'm hoping we have more than 124 yards offense. I'm hoping that our defense with my boy Rodney McLeod and all them other guys go out there and just play lockdown. And I'm hoping to walk out with a dub. Unlike a lot of Colts fans who are wanting to go 0-8 the rest of the season and hope to get a higher draft pick. I'm sorry that's not in my blood. Uh, I just, I can't do that. Especially, literally, we're still mathematically in for the playoffs. I want to root for my team. I'm a fan. I'm not a guy who's, you know, constantly, I get it. I understand. You guys out there, you're like, man, how else are we going to get a a quarterback in the draft? Well, I mean, we can, you know, trade players along with draft picks if Ballard wishes to do that to go get a quarterback. It is in the system. It's possible. People do that all the time. So I would rather feel proud about the team that I'm rooting for mm-hmm. than sit here and go, well, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, uh, we, we went 3-14-1 thir- and one. I, I just I, I, that, or whatever, you know, 3-13-1. Yeah. and one. Yeah, that's that's yeah. not good. Yeah, I'd rather be much like Rich Sanchez here. He says, you know, let's go get the dub today. Go Colts and to heck with, you know, Josh McDaniel. I had to put it up there, except it wasn't quite to heck with him, you know. So glad you're in here, Rich. Also got D-Love in here saying hopefully it's something we can see, enjoy watching today and appreciate you, Robert Johnson. But, yeah, like you said, man, just <laughs> I don't know if you guys are here in the local area, but if you are, you got to see the, the Chicago-Detroit game early game and and there was a lot of football that you sat there and saw in that game that it, you know what Jeff Saturday if you if we, if we can get a flavor of that if our offensive line can produce enough to move this ball at a consistent pace granted you know you don't want it all to be the quarterback like you were saying off screen earlier is you know but yet 
you still want to be able to move that ball up and down the field. That's interesting. What's up with that? Hey. <laughs> Brandon dropping in some news. Matt Ryan's in the warm-ups taking reps with the starter, Ryan Kelly, while Ellinger is taking snaps with Pinter. Mm-hmm. What, the, I get it. I understand. But if you're the starting quarterback, you want to take snaps from the starting center. And last I knew, Pinter wasn't the starting center. Or is that going to change today? I know. Isn't that crazy? Is like, is it the quarterback? Is this a statement about the quarterback or the statement about the who's the starting center? It's like that is where we're at in today in this season. You know what that, I mean? And, and yeah. both of them are feasible options. <laughs> Absolutely. It's crazy, you know. I mean, we know that that uh Saturday came here to try to get this this offensive line. Maybe Kelly's gonna move to right guard and Pinter become the center for this game just to I mean, we all know that Jeff Saturday did it for one game just to get things, you know, up and going. So it's possible. Um, We'll see what happens. I I think this is going to be fun. Um, In all honesty, this is a game. After listening to Jeff Saturday in the uh, pregame interview, I'm expecting the running game to have like 35 carries. Mm. Uh, He's talking about, you know, the physicality of the game. He wants our team to be the most physical. That was something that they was teaching and preaching all week about being physical and winning in the trenches. And that just, to me, that sounds like getting back to the easy, getting back to what the offensive line is supposed to do best, and just getting back to what, you know, carried the Indianapolis Colts the last few years, and that is the run game. Absolutely. You know, I mean, that that's the biggest question is could Jeff get in here and 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 elevate this offensive line play? You know, I mean, could he pull a little extra something out of him to get started trending in that positive direction? Because we all know you give JT just a little bit and he'll turn it into a lot. You just got to give him those opportunities. And he hasn't had too many of those. So Jeff Saturday, I hope you get this O-line, Quentin Nelson, Braden Smith. Ryan Kelly, Danny Penner, who you know, whoever, I don't care who the starting five is. Let's just go out there and be able to play solid, protect when we need to protect. Like you said, run that ball. Let's open some holes and, and let JT eat, you know, and let's not forget, you know, we've got Jordan Wilkins is back off the practice squad. You've got uh, the new running back from Buffalo Moss that, you know, I mean, it's it, so – it's very, there's a lot of interesting little storylines and big storylines. It's just like today could be, you know, today could be on each end of the spectrum. It could be a total disaster or it could be an absolute, yes, just Saturday's the savior type of game. So very excited and, and, and a little nervous in, in a weird way. You know what I mean? Because to me, you know, this is the last, if, if you lose this one, I mean, that, that whole, uh, tanking or whatever conversation just gets louder and like you said i get it i understand but if if we're in it you know on number wise let's state the positive and let's hope for the best trailers jumps in says how's jt's ankle it is taped up um he has been working with it though full practice uh he's been good to go so he's going to try to uh try to run on it today so jonathan taylor will be now, whether or not he'll have limited snaps, you know, 10 to 15 or something like that, we don't know. But we we, we do know we're going to see some JT. We just don't know how much. Um, guys, uh, again, you know, we're about nine minutes into this. we got over 20 of you in here. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell so that you're notified next time we go live. Uh, if you want to help with the channel, Feel free to do so. You know, other support besides hitting the like, you can share it to your favorite social media with the little red share button beneath loyalist. You can use the donation in the top of the description of the video. It says donations, right? And it's got a link right there in the description. You can go there. It's just like a super chat, man. And I've got it pulled up just in case that happens. Appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget, use the uh, if you want to use the Discord link, feel free and do so. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the chat right at the top. You don't have to scroll up very far. Uh, and you can be watching the exact same thing we're watching, uh, and reacting to that way, you know, you're reacting at the same time we are basically. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, 
One thing that I'm curious about is, in all honesty, how this offensive line is going to perform today, right? Yeah. That is the biggest issue. I mean, let's face it. Uh, we did not look good last week. I mean, at all. We had nine sacks, 10 bazillion quarterback hits and hurries and pressures. Uh, we had situation 43 total passing yards as a team because er, sack yardage, sack yeah. yardage goes against passing yards for team. So that's nasty. That's nasty. And, and the best way to be able to pass the ball is to be able to run the ball. That way yeah. you can get the pass rushers off your quarterback's ass. All right. <laughs> so we got to be able to run the football. That's I'm, I'm assuming that's how they're going to start it out. People want to complain about Frank, Wright, Run, run, pass, run, run, pass. I wouldn't be surprised if parks Frazier has been told by Saturday, run, 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 <laughs> run, run, pass, run, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there's like, this is an RPO emphasis on the R because <laughs> we're going up against the Raiders. Yeah. Arr, run. All right. Um, now that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have a whole bunch. Now he, he threw this out here. I don't see the, it, it all being gut runs. Um, I love off tackle. I want to see some stretch plays. I want to see some, some uh, jet sweeps. I want to see a combination of things to keep this Raiders defense you know, on their heels the whole time. Because if they're on their heels, that means they're not on the, uh, the they're not on their toes coming after the quarterback when he does decide to snap and, and and throw the football. So let's see what happens, man. Absolutely, and not not to mention, you know, you talk about it slowing down that pass rush. So that's the thing, you know, these guys are sitting there having to battle out to to beat their their matchup or their double team or whatever, you know. And then what do they get to look forward to? Oh, it's Zach Moss. Oh, it's JT. You know what I mean? You know, and sitting there giving those body blows and those body blows, moving the chains, you know, getting the strive. And, and like you said, because Sam, I mean, since we got rid of Naheem, you know, Sam is back that there is not a player on this team that he's thrown a touchdown to. You know what I mean? But so if you can sit there and keep doing all those body blows, and like you said, find your opportunities. Let's see. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see who Sam, you know, hopefully can sit there and get that, 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 first touchdown with again. And and like I said, I think this, I'm excited. I'm really excited because this offensive line, you know what you had in years prior. And the thing is, is it's, it's there. I mean, it's the, you know, you've got three of the pieces there. If those guys just play better, I'm not even, you know, including, you know, Ryman or anybody, but if just those three guys play better, this, this has an opportunity to really turn quickly. So if we can get all five, offensive line on the same page early in this game and then you get your young quarterback with a little bit of momentum a little bit of you know spring in his step you know you might uh, say and and then you're then that's when your offense really gets to roll and Park Frazier can go out there and be like okay I kept it simple but this is still a lot of fun when you start seeing those chains and just a domination of that uh of the trenches absolutely Robert Johnson jumps up in here he's he's dropping some information that a lot of us are actually keeping a close eye on Tennessee currently defeating Denver 14 to 10, but that's a close game. That's one score. You know, I could, I could happen anyway. Go Russ, let Russ cook. Just don't <laughs> overcook it and burn it like you did the last, you know, eight games straight. Uh, just saying. Uh, I, I would like to see this actually happen. The Colts are four and a half point underdogs walking into the Raiders. Why is that? Well, first off, the Colts offense has been god awful, but – also, Derek Carr has pretty much had his way with the Indianapolis Colts defense ever since he broke his leg uh, back in like 2014 uh, against the Colts. And he's came back and he's played very, very well. I mean, we could go back the last three games and see how well he's played against Indy. However, today, he's going to be out there without Darren Waller. He's going to be out there without that dude, Hunter Renfro, uh, mm -hmm. to really, you know, eat us alive in the slot. Now, it's not like he doesn't have any weapons to go to. Obviously, he still has Josh Jacobs. He could hand the football off to. And that new guy, number 17, <laughs> what's his name? Oh, yeah, Devontae Adams. All right. I mean, they've got weapons over there. Even when they're losing two of their, 
you know, the two best that they had on their team from years prior, they still got a couple there to be able to do stuff. Our defense really has to lock down and give us a shot in this game. Absolutely. And, and one of the things that I'm really hoping to see is, is like you said, Josh Jacobs, let, let's take away the run game. Grover, Defoe, take advantage of this weak interior offensive line. You know, what I mean, let's 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 push the pocket in the middle real heavy because that that gets you know that's whatever you start seeing uh, Derek Carr turning the ball over a little more freely. You know, and like I said, if we could sit there and, and now you've got Devontae Adams and whether you got Gilmore or whether you got a safety over the top, you have extra resources that you can you know. I mean, but if they start running the ball on a consistent basis, now they're still, you know, multidimensional and that's a concern. So that's, I'm really hoping Grove comes in today, you know, and, and, and Defoe and, and just really makes that statement, you know, no. And, and honestly, this, this run defense bar a couple games has been that consistently all year. So real important that they do that and help, you know, continue bringing that support that they brought the organization because they've kept us in a ton of these games this year. Trailers, what's up, my guy, dude? Really, seriously? I trust and believe so much in Saturday and Parks Frazier that I dropped a one thousand dollar bet on the Colts at plus four. Whoa! All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> if just, we, I, well, for just, your <laughs> sake, I hope the Colts win. Yeah, and for your sake, I hope that if you do win, you don't forget your friends. <laughs> all right. <laughs> No, nah, I'm just kidding, man. Uh, for your sake, man, I, I really hope you win. I hate to have to see somebody lose uh, money like that. I'll tell hey, you that much right now. That's um, awesome. No, now, now, we'll, now we'll have something else to give us more energy, more hype about. Be like, you know, we're Shrey, we're Shrey. Heck yeah, I love that type of stuff. He Especially, says, I see a I big, can't come. <laughs> says, I see a big pay, P-A-Y-E day today, both on the field and in my account. Speaking of pay, there was a question if he was going to be active or not today because he was questionable for the questionable for the game. Let's discuss the inactives. Number one, Nick Foles. I mean, we're not going to have three quarterbacks active for this game, right? And we already knew that Sam Ellinger and Matt Ryan was going to be there. Mike Strawn is inactive. We kind of figured that out as much. Deion Jackson kind of had that idea. Um, Jelani Woods, again, another guy we figured would probably not, you know, definitely going to be inactive. We already knew he was out. Special teams ace Trevor Denbo, uh, third center Wesley French, and defensive tackle Chris Williams. We have seven guys that are on the inactives list, and that means Quiddy Pay will be playing. Yeah, Quiddy Pay will be playing. You know, um, <laughs> the special teams. Now that you've got, you know, got two of your studs and Stewart and, and uh, Brown back in, that should be able to to hopefully present itself better this week. I mean, we're gonna, this is this is going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game, and we need as many guys to really step up and help hopefully take this energy, this just, set, you know, the, the Saturday hype, you know what I mean? And, and let's inject it into an electric Sunday. Absolutely. I mean, look, the odds about Saturday winning in his first game, actually not as bad as what a lot of people would think, especially you're going up against a team like the Raiders, who have had, you know, dysfunction themselves all year, let alone two of their best players also being out. But also, in general, when an interim head coach comes in, people don't know what's going to happen offensively and defensively on the calls, and and usually it also fires up a team. They usually play pretty well their first game. So I'm hoping that the Colts come out here and get this first win. And if we can get one win, then maybe we can start chaining them, like you're saying, right, and yeah. maybe see what happens. But yes, sir, absolutely. Robert Johnson talks about Detroit winning 31 to 30. And think about that five minutes ago in this game, it was 24 to 10. All right. That's nuts. All right. Yeah. In five minutes, they scored that much. I wouldn't mind seeing a scoring game in this one. Yeah. I'd like to see more than three points put up by our offense this game. That would be freaking awesome. Yeah, and it's not like these guys are just lighting it up through the air. I mean, especially Chicago, they've been doing a lot of their damage on the ground, and and that was what we've come in hoping to see from this Colts. I mean, you know, let Sam test it. You know, honestly, Sam, come in, give me give give me your game one, Washington Commanders play. You know, making good decisions. 
you know, once he got settled in, you know, you started seeing the playbook open up a little bit. But let's, you know, let's let's bring that that as our starting point and let's build on it with from there, you know, and let's just sort of put that Patriots game, you know. So Field Yates, or, Field Yates apparently is saying that Matt Ryan is warming up with the whole first team offense. Wow. Now that's weird because Saturday's already stated that Ellinger was the starter in this game. So I'm wondering, you know, he's making sure that Ryan is up and ready just in case. Because mm-hmm. what if, you know, the look, we talk about, well, you know, our offense is li- our offensive line is bad. Wasn't able to move the ball or wasn't able to do much, was getting sacked and stuff and, and, and not getting a lot of yardage, getting turnovers. Might as well put Ellinger in there. Well, what that end up turning out to be? Well, we still giving turnovers. We were still getting more sacks and less yardage and less points with mm-hmm. Ellinger. So that's not a good sign. We were actually performing better with Matt Ryan turning the ball over as much as he was, but at least he was moving the football and scoring points. What do you think? Oh, I agree. I mean, you, you guys know where I stood on the whole Matt Ryan being benched. I mean, I understood you had to see what you had, got from Sam and this offensive line was not playing a uh, conducive football to a, a quarterback of Matt Ryan's tenure and just his abilities or lack thereof as far as getting away, you know, in the pocket. He's really he's really crafty in the pocket, though. You know what I mean? Matt Ryan can buy that extra beat or two for himself just with those simple step-ups. So, you know, whoever's the interior offensive line is, give him that little comfort area, you know, give him, you know, give him that protection that he wants there. And, and guys, I mean, turnovers, we cannot forget that the, the turnovers were just relentless, you know, and we can't have that. But a lot of, I mean, not a lot. Some of those turnovers were JT fumbling the football a couple of times, which we are not accustomed to. So that, you know, it wasn't and all the snap, on. like the first few, few of those, uh, fumbles like four mm-hmm. of them right in that first game was you know center quarterback exchange you know yeah. of course that got cleaned up instantaneously on the ride home on the plane but <laughs> still that still counts on four of them right there right yeah yeah and so like I said and if Matt Ryan's out there this offense is going to be much more potent because Matt Ryan is going to be able to find these receivers I say I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm dumping on Sam Sam, you know, Sam's played two games in the NFL. Okay. He, he, and he came into a messy situation, multiple people, you know, in his ear, different OCs, all that. So I'm not dumping on Sam, but I'm just saying, when you look at the productivity that you got from Sam, his legs did not produce as much of an advantage as we had hoped it would. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, and when we were willing to sacrifice some of the yardage and stuff (coughs) for just ball protection and then, you know, hopefully less sacks, but we got better ball protection. We just got not yeah, the same amount of sacks, if not more. So, yeah, I mean, straight up, Jeff Saturday did say the best starting 11 on mm-hmm. all teams will play, you know, offense, defense, special teams. Now, you can, we can, we can uh, assume things all day. Obviously, we won't find out until the game actually starts. I'm, I'm thinking that Sam Ellinger will start this game. I'm thinking – that if he plays well, he'll stay in. Now, if the offensive line is crapping out and that's the reason why he's not playing well, then he'll probably still stay in because you don't want Matt Ryan behind a a crapped out offensive line. But if we're not playing well and the offensive line is doing their job, I expect to see Matt Ryan in. So there's, there's, you know, give and take in that situation. Yeah. There's pros and cons definitely to both sides of this. And, and the thing is, is, handling this the right way you know what i mean how do you communicate that to a sam ellinger how do you know if you make a move like that that's that's a concern because you know you don't want this kid to to lose this team or the team lose him you know what i mean you really want to keep him plugged in and immensely locked and ready to go so it's 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 a weird situation but let's be honest you know we've been in weird now for about the last three weeks you know and you guys remember when jeff saturday what was it wasn't it tuesday or Monday, whenever he announced that Sam was going to be the starting quarterback, he, there's Too been a bad. lot. Of, okay, there's been a lot of information just from that. You know, that seems like a a month ago, probably to Jeff Saturday with you know, with what he's gone out there and seen with what they've been able to hopefully game plan up and stuff. So it it's interesting. You know, <laughs> it's going to be uh, 
much more difficult to game plan with Jeff Saturday and Parks Frazier's making these play calls and these decisions and what, you know, what anything is. Absolutely. Guys, uh, smash that like, but we got about 10 minutes before this game actually starts. Uh, if you want to watch the exact same stream that we are watching, I will drop the discord link in the chat again, and then you can react with us as I'm calling the play by play and we react. So, Hey, this is going to be a good game. I hope for everybody involved, the players, the coaches, the fans, myself, loyalist, and you out there in YouTube land, you guys, I hope they play well, just so that we have something exciting to be excited about, right? Mm -hmm. So tired of just losing and losing. I mean, we've lost three straight. Ellinger is 0 for 2 so far as his starting. Um Matt Ryan is what three, three and one. He was at 500 before mm -hmm. he got benched. So hopefully this is a situation where we could actually start cheering a little bit because let's face it. All right. This is the easiest game of the year. Maybe it's either the easiest or the second easiest game of the year, right. Right. you know, because where, where the Raiders are with their, you know, dysfunction plus their injuries, and then the other easiest game would probably be the te Texans yeah. at the end of the year, but they're divisional rival. So we're yeah. going to be, I mean, don't we tied their asses week one, you know, yeah. and, and that every game between tough as hell. Yeah. Cause that Pittsburgh game just got a lot tougher with Jay or TJ Watt being back out on the field. He's going to have a couple games under his belt. So yeah, that that's uh, like you said, if you, if you don't capitalize today, you know, that that's to me, I, I don't sit there and realize I can't picture how you could imagine that going any much better next week against the Eagles, you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. continuing on with the schedule. So this is, this is a huge game because you get this first game under the belt. Like you said, give this, you know, give this group of players, even the guys on the field, give them something to feel good about and, and go in next week, you know, and have that flight home and go in next week going, yeah, that's all right. We got we got one under the books. Let's just get this next one, and then then who knows what happens? You know who knows? Because then you're back at home and you got Philly, and you're like, oh yeah, we've been killing these guys that are expected to blow the doors off of us. So we got this. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, looks like the Lions are going to win this game. <laughs> the Lions are about to win. They're at the 22 yard line with the football, leading 31 to 30 with one minute left in the game. Wow. It's never over till it's over. Holy, holy. I mean, yeah. this thing, this thing early in the third quarter looked like Chicago was just like one one score away from just putting this thing to bed. And now <laughs> you know, Detroit's Actually, like, hey, we gave up a bunch of them. Yeah, we gave up a bunch of leads. So it's nice to go out and take one. My camera's not picking up the colors properly. This is actually a blue and dark blue and white, not black and white. So just FYI. And this is a gray shirt. But this is actually dark blue and white. But my camera, weird, you know. <laughs> I have to change the, the 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 colors. Otherwise, I look stupid pale. So I put a little <laughs> color in my system, right? All right. It's, it's, it is what it is. I mean, I sit behind a computer and this camera so much, I never see the sun. All right. Um, if you guys ever saw me out at training camp, you know. Because I was burnt to a crisp. Even I even had hats on and I was still burnt to a crisp. So Ooh. all right. Ooh. Not you yet. Are. She, no, she can't get Chicago says not yet. <laughs> yes, I am. I am pale. I mean, I I I I can tan. I just never get to see the sun. You know. <laughs> uh when I was younger, I was somewhat tan, but that was outside playing a lot. So but, but that's when I was a kid. But we're okay because he doesn't sparkle. So he, he he's he's not, <laughs> God, he's I not hope quite not. that pale. <laughs> Josh, moonlight is no jokey. I because <laughs> moonburn is a thing, right? <laughs> when you're as pale as we are. Uh <laughs> oh. And my wife don't ever want to go outside because you know, uh She's a redhead, so you know she has an aversion to the sun automatically from birth. Uh, <laughs> all right, I, I, I'm, I'm, I know that he's waiting, that Brandon is waiting to flip that game over, mm -hmm. uh, because there's 
what 45 seconds the game's over yeah game's over yeah all they right just, they just put it to bed they just put it the way all right guys real quick do me a favor if you haven't already hit that like hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed ring that notification bell share the stream if you could you know on whatever platforms you guys are comfortable with and uh Let's, let's get this all done before the game. It's going to start here in about three to five minutes, you know, so maybe drop a couple ads and, and let them know, you know, who, who helps us make this show keep going. Well, come check out the Colts Law Merch Shop. New items added every week. All sorts of items from clothing to cups to cozies to backpacks, hats, just miscellaneous items that you can get around the house, even phone covers. Just check it out. Let me know. Send me a message. Hey, is there something that I'm missing? Go feel free to ask. Have a good one. Hey, check out the Backroom Collection because Defoe said so. This channel is proudly sponsored by the Backroom Collection. They do beautiful sports canvas art with football, basketball, baseball, and other sports themes. Special orders are accepted and autograph pieces are available. Many Indianapolis Colts signed pieces will be available beginning in November. Just use your discount code CL10 to purchase the pieces you want to spice up your living area. That's CL10. This video is sponsored by Newsbreak. Newsbreak is an app used over 1.5 billion times a month by people just like you to get local news via articles or videos by those who are focused on that specific area. People like myself. Just use the link in the description of this video to download it. Then search a city, state, or someone specific, like myself, Colts Law. Then make sure to follow them so you'll get all the news fresh as it comes out. All right, now we're just waiting on the actual game to start, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, why don't you put your predictions in the comments what is the score going to be for the Indianapolis Colts and Las Vegas Raiders? Drop it in the chat right now. I want to know what your predictions are. Wow. Jefferson is nasty. Justin Jefferson just went out and. Well, oh. we, we already knew that too. Though. Yeah, but I mean, he just really gave this easy, easy. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, is Ryan starting or did something happen to Sam? As far as I knew, Sam is starting. So, mm -hmm. uh, unless, unless it was a lie all week to get <laughs> the other team off, you know, something changed, you know, 3D Ryan <laughs> is starting. Sanchez says that Matt Ryan is actually starting. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, that was just broadcasted that he is starting this game. Matt Ryan is starting. Wow. All right. Well, well, that's that's news. Oh no. Go back to the thing. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna there we go. All right, so we don't have the sound on the stream going. All right, I'm just letting you know. Uh so Saturday straight up started off lying to everybody. We're gonna start Sam Ellinger. Matt, Mark, Matt Ryan out there. Raiders are like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Less R and more P.O. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Appreciate it, Brandon. All right. Uh, what do you mean by no audio? The stream itself should have audio, but we have it turned off for ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can't hear the stream. Because if we could hear it, then you can hear it. So that was a good catch there, Deep. That was absolutely a fantastic catch. He kept the kept the Vikings in it at least for a few more seconds. Brandon, do you have audio for the video game turned on? Just asking. I see uh, people in here. Shreyless and them are in here. So. Just say something in the Discord. Uh, if he does not have audio available for the uh, the stream, uh, you may have it muted though, but you can check it out. Uh, but either way, um, 
Yeah, we we do have two streams up there. I'm not sure what uh, the beast is streaming on his, but Speed Maverick says he's on there also. Okay. All right. Rich says Saturday just screwing with McDaniel's, and we need to <laughs> screw with McDaniel's because he screwed with us. All right. Yeah. I'm just saying it is what it is, and that's it's what we got to deal with. So. Well, and like I said, you know, he made that statement on a Tuesday. You know what I mean? And and then to sit there and no, so yeah, he, 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 he sat, backed it up. He backed it up on Wednesday and Thursday. So oh, I didn't even hear from him Wednesday or Thursday. I mean, but yeah, like I said, I, I, either way, I just who cares? You know, <laughs> let's let's just see what these guys can do. Let's just win. Okay. You know, all right. Just go to get his guys, and he's you know, let's win this bad boy. Come Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's be nice to put a little extra heat under Mr. McDaniel's seat going into next week. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. If one thing about Vegas, that Reliant Stadium is freaking beautiful. Yes, outstanding, uh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this dub, man. We would like to sweep the AFC West. That would be really freaking awesome. We're two and zero oh against the AFC West. Let's make it three and zero. Oh. We get the ball in the second half. So let's go thank defense. You, thank you, Brandon, for fixing the sound. And we are kicking off. And that bad boy is grabbed at about the two yard line. He brings it out, gets a couple nice blocks up front, takes it all mm -hmm. the way out to the thirty yard line where Derek Carr and the Raiders will take over. Wow, that was a good return. About 29-yard return there. Yeah, I want to remind everybody that Ashton Dillon was back out there. You know, mm -hmm. so that, he's another outstanding special teams player. And he's <laughs> pretty darn good in the uh, blocking from the receiver position. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, we'll see what happens here because this is this is pretty big. Uh, Parks Frazier, obviously the play caller. Um under center, takes a snap, seven-step drop, steps up, steps up. He's launching a deep one, a monster ball. That, that went nowhere. Yeah, he was throwing that away. Rodney, had, Rodney was still in position to him. He's like, I just got to air this thing as far as I can. <laughs> that ball was way – there was – no one was catching that, you know. I think he was trying to throw it uh, – throw him open, but he still put way too much under that ball. I mean, he, he he launched that ball probably 60 yards. Yeah. Yes, he did. And it's a, that's actually unusual to see because you you know how Derek Carr likes to – those quick passes and stuff. So mm -hmm. hmm. That's how he chewed us up last year. Yeah. Under center, single setback is uh, – the eye formation, my bad, Adams in motion, takes a snap. That's a toss sweep to Jacobs. I think we have a block in the back. I don't see a flag, but that sure looked like a block in the back against our end there. Oh, Third my goodness. Five. It's a five-yard pickup. Third and five upcoming. Off to the left side is where the uh, the run headed. Yeah, and if you guys didn't get to check it out, you know, uh, on Believe this week, Rodney was talking about how they really wanted to take the, and get off these third down and five or situations. So let's go. We'll start right All here. Right. Third and five. Looking, I can't see. Shotgun running back to his left, three receivers to his right. Trying to make adjustments at the line. Takes a snap. Quick two-step drop. Look for a quick pass over the middle. And incomplete. incomplete. Yes. Isaiah Rogers with the knockout. And the Colts force a three and out on the Raiders' first drive of the game. Yes. All right. Good start. Good start. Ooh. It's close. Yeah, that was that was. I love it. I love it. That's what this team. I mean, <laughs> you got no ops, no other choice but to just try to yeah. capitalize every opportunity. And here comes the punt from the twenty-five yard line. We got a catch at the fifteen. And he gets oh cremated, but he stays on his feet and gets out to the eighteen yard line before he gets pushed out of bounds. That's Kiki Kuti wanting a flag, but don't look mm -hmm. like he's going to get one. A little upset about that. And here comes Matt Ryan walking out onto the field as a starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. What? And Mo Alley Cox is right out there with him. So 
hopefully he's that ankle's strong enough. You know, he he only had the Friday light practice. So what are we All doing? All right. They, fries. They got fries, fries out the there. Must yep. be a guard. They Jeff Saturday must have some serious hmm. like faith in the offensive line. He must have seen some good stuff out of the offensive line. Be Ryan aware Kyle. of the stunts, though. Ryan under center. Got two receivers to his right, single setback. And we got uh, both rookie. start Come left on. and right. Ryman. Gosh darn it, Ryman. All right. But we do have uh, Ryan Kelly at center. We also have uh, the rookie, as we Braden said. You know, left. They said it was Braden Smith with the false start. Yeah. Uh, Okay, whatever. I think, I, I think they might have made a mistake on that, but the other end of the field or the other end yeah. of the line, <laughs> right? The trailer says both jump. Quick pass. It's a screen to Campbell, who's got some speed. Gets out to about the twenty-three yard line, and he picks up about half of what's needed. Good, good. So we're going to be looking at about second down and six, second down and seven upcoming. I, I've been talking. I've been pounding the table for them bubble screens to to Paris Campbell all year. Every time you get it, he makes something happen. Second down and five upcoming. Three receivers to his left. Single setback. Quarterback under center. That's a handoff. Jonathan Taylor makes the first man miss, but unable to make the second man miss. It'll be third down and five upcoming as he was tackled uh, on the left side. Kyle that Grant. was a stretch run play. Colin Granson didn't hold his block because I tell you what, the rest of that left side of the line got a little bit of push, which is something we haven't seen much. So come on, let's go. Third and five, let's go. <clears throat> Third down and five, we got a shotgun single back to his right, split receivers. At the 22 and a half yard line. Need to get to the 28. Take snap. Quick throw. That's Pierce yes. for about eight, nine yards and a first down. Wow. That was a nice little in route right yes, there. Yes, sir. I little the poke. Raiders. Rocky Sin's pissed. Rocky Sin is out there throwing a fit. Now what? The play was called dead. They called timeout. Rocky Challenge. Sin is still pissed. Yeah, he's challenging it. They're saying that he dropped the ball. Mm. And it is an incomplete pass. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Rocky Sin with a really good play on defense right there. Yep, right there. Ah! All right. Rocky Sin, this year, so far, is rated as a top five cornerback in the NFL. That's That says a lot. The rest of this secondary for the Raiders has been garbage. Yeah. Rocky Sin's been pretty darn good. And Rock's doing what Rock has always done. You know what I mean? Once the catch is made, you don't get much after it. And that, that's definitely been his, his best, best part of his game. The last couple of years. And like you say, the penalties have limited. I know he had a big one last week that hurt him a little bit, but man. Yep. I mean, unique right now is leads the team in sacks. Um, but in all honesty, that lockdown edge, uh, that lockdown corner what you Rocky since been this year has just been absolutely outstanding. So um I'm I do I thought that the Raiders won that trade when it first happened because mm -hmm. I thought Rock was on the upswing, like hardcore upswing, and he continues to show that he is. Now Unique has has been helpful uh to the Indianapolis Colts this year, but you know, I don't know if he's gonna get double digit sacks. Yeah. Uh, he's going to, he's going to be right around his average, right? Around nine, I think. Yeah. And Robert Johnson, we, uh, traded him for that, that Yannick, hopefully trying to solve that edge rusher problem that we have, uh, had to deal with 
for, for a while and not being able to fill. And, you know, I mean. Rock's I, I, had three pass interferences in the last two years. That's it. Three. All right. So Matt Hawk will probably go out and boom a long one for us and mm-hmm. get this defense back out there in position to score. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I ain't putting incompleted. that on. Yeah, I ain't putting that on Pierce. So that was just a good play by Rock. That was a that hell was of just, a play by Rock. Yeah, I mean, because he came in there and knocked that ball out. Now Pierce needs to hold on to that football better. Yeah, but I'm I'm just saying, you know, it, that's why they get paid too. Unfortunately. Yep. <clears throat> All right, here comes the punt. Our punter standing at his own eight yard line. Ugh. That's not good. Hawk, you better drop this one. And he drop kicks it all the way to the 27-yard line. And he is met at the 35, gets to the 36. And that's where the Raiders will start back up again at the 36-yard line. Not a bad punt. Nope. Like to get some pressure on. Get some pressure early at this. Come on, guys. Absolutely. Because he had way too much time on that first play of the game. Way too much time. Guys, there's over 50 of you in here. Hit that like button, please. It really helps with the analytics. Come on, defense. All right. At 36-yard line, we got split receiver, single setback, quarterback under center. Adams in motion. Sorry. Handoff to the running back, and he is met in the backfield. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets back to the line of scrimmage before, and now we got a flag on the play. I'm wondering if we got a holding call upcoming. Hopefully, it's not a face mask. Man, that was a rough back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, defensive holding. Dang it. Holding on the offense. Okay. Make up your minds, guys. (laughs) Right? I mean, come on. He he went like this and then pointed towards the defense. I guess (laughs) the guy just don't know what he's doing. Um... They're definitely going to take that because that's a 10-yard penalty and a loss of down. And you know what? You know, everybody remember who – remember who uh, – Man in motion, under center, single setback, takes a snap, uh, fakes the handoff. It's a quick screen out to Adams who slips a tackle and picks up mm. about seven, eight yards, but not even half. At second down, it was not a loss of down, by the way. Um, even though, yeah, it was not a loss of down. It was it was a quick little screen there, and good good play by Adams to get away from the tackle of Kenny Moore. Honestly, and we got another flag on the field. Well, you know what? Are you sitting, kidding me? I was sitting there thinking, you know what? An eligible downfield. All right, <laughs> Las Vegas is going backwards. That's all I care about. It's second down or first down and 25 now. Yeah. But you think about it, you know, what is it we kept hearing about Matt Ryan when he first got here? How Peyton Manning esque he was and stuff. Now, you know what? You sit there and think about Saturday and what he's used to, that that veteran voice and stuff. I understand. I mean, I really like this. You know, I mean, you know, as long as you they dealt with the whole Sam part of it properly. At the 25-yard line under center, or shotgun, takes a snap, steps back, seven-step drop. Get him! He's under him. pressure immediately, and he's grabbed. That's Grover Stewart, baby. That's yes. a big Grove. That's a big Grove for a big sack. Look at that. Awesome. And just this like is... that, it's going to be second down and 30-plus upcoming. Big Grove getting it, getting the job done. And if it wasn't Grover, it was going to be DeForest. You know, yeah. because these two guys came in or, here. Watch Quiddy, or is that? No, nah, it may be. Hang on a second. The, look at that. Yeah. See? Yeah, that was Dio Dangbo also coming out from the left. So, heck yeah. All right. Second down and 34 after a loss of nine. Takes a snap. Hands the football off Tackle. to the running back. Tackle. Jacobs, he there gets hit. Uh, by Zaire Franklin after a gain of about four. It's third down and a million miles. What are these I think lines? Jacobs is having himself <laughs> a little bit of extracurricular discussions on the field. Franklin's like, I'm not doing nothing. 
Third All down, right. 29. And those of you who say our defense sucks, you, 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 whatever. <laughs> Let's get them a stop here. They're, they're 10 yards off the receivers. Got Boom, him. he gets oh. cremated as he lets the oh. ball go. Oh, my God. Ooh. Woo, who cremated Carr? Oh, my goodness. Carr, Carr got annihilated on it. That was what? a uh, defo, a stunt. That 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 was that was a stunt. Yeah, I Cross can't it. see. I yeah, I think it was. <laughs> he blowing bubbles out of his nose. I know that much. Car's like, who dare? Who dare? Wow. <laughs> so that's two three and outs by our defense so far in this game. There's what a punt all the way back to the sixteen yard line. Cootie takes the ball. And gets up to a, almost the 30, and he grabs his hip. Hip, yeah. Yeah, what. I think Cootie might be hurt. Oh, he got a – Did he? he might have, yeah, he might have a dinger or a, or a, dinger, a stinger on a the hip. Stinger. But he, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, he, what, he definitely – He looks way too small to be returning these spots. But I'll tell you what, since he's come back from that concussion and stuff, he has really just been fearless out there. <laughs> Appreciate it. I think that it's a smart idea if Saturday has faith in the offensive line that he has gotten them to play better than what they had the last, you know, since midway through last year, uh, then absol absolutely I like the idea of starting Ryan. It was the whole idea of getting Ryan in the first place was because we were supposed to have an offensive line to protect him in a run game to help him out. Yeah. I, I'm very curious as to know when this decision was actually made, though. You know what I mean? Did was, Park yeah. was Park Park Frazier's out here going, okay, I got to whittle, whittle this down to fit more towards Sam Ellinger. And then all of a sudden he gets that big giant eraser. He goes, all right, Jeff, we'll switch it up. <laughs> and, and yeah, what what a what a trippy time to be a Colts fan. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you just never know with this team. Anything could happen right now. We uh, James asked how the offensive line looks so far. We've got a false start. Uh, off the first drive, which set us back a little bit far. Um, good protection on a pass for a first down that was defended well uh, by Rocky Sin. Um, it was a completed pass, but then Rock knocked it out. So, uh, so far, really not a whole lot to actually say. Uh, they've only had one drive, three plays. Uh, it was a three and out yeah. because of the drop. And the play calling, it's going to be much more of that quick, quick decision, quick hitting type of plays and stuff until till you get a better feel of it. But yeah, I mean, the the one the one stretch play, tight end missed his block, but the left side of the line got a little bit of push, which we haven't seen lately. Excuse me. Wow. Yep. All right. Let's keep an eye. I'm surprised. Ryan started, though, without knowing for sure what this offensive line was going to look like walking in. Yeah. You know, that was the the only issue. Saturday, though, I mean, I, I, I'm i going to assume he knows how offensive line play is supposed to look. So, you know, I mean, this was definitely his damn call <laughs> by yes. far. Yes, yes, because we know the owner would have preferred it the other way around. Yep. But he's wanting to win, I guess. Three receivers to the left, shotgun running back, and Taylor takes the ball, push, push. and the offensive okay. line pushes, gets him about three on the carry before Will Fries is pushed back by about five miles by three different Raiders. No, but yeah, that I was think Will Fries and not. Yeah, yeah he was done. doing the pushing. Yeah, he was doing the pushing too. Yeah. He just kept driving that guy. That was three yards. Okay. All that's, right. Yeah, like I said, it was three yards. Yep. Yeah, three, three, four yards. Just keep keep bounding it around. All right. Shotgun. Taylor to his right. Ryan looking over the offense. Takes a snap. Quick pass. That's a first down. Got him right there. Yep. And guess Good to see him back. Good to see him what? back in the game plan. Michael Pittman Jr. We got a first down. The Colts have the first that first first down of the game. By either team, I never thought of, and it, but you know it's been 
two drives. Both teams had two drives. Now the Colts get the first first down. All right. That's good. Let's go. All Let's right. Go. Especially when you figure out how many yards that uh, the, the Colts offense now have. Played. Yeah, the Colts now have more passing yards than they did all game last year. Uh, <laughs> or last week. Uh, handoff, Jonathan Taylor. There you go. Right up the gut. Picks up about four and a half. On first down, we're looking at second down and six upcoming. Really using that left side of that line. I mean, the offensive nice. line really trying to get some push in. I see a dueling siding. Yeah, that's why I said he was out there very first play on uh -huh. kickoff return. He was the one I thought he got might have got blocked in the back, but they didn't call it. Honestly, easy baby. I don't care who gets what opportunities as long as we win. Yeah, and it's not like this is his final opportunity. That, yep. I, Hand off Jonathan Taylor, and he's going to get to the 50. It'll be third down and two upcoming. You know what, though? You can see these plays. I mean, the physicality that this mm -hmm. Colts – I mean, they are really trying to make a statement. You know, you, you see that people are still being pushed six, seven yards down the field, but they're, they're still, being, still pushing them around and stuff. They're pushing even after the freaking whistle's blown. That's That's the thing, you know. Oh man, let's go! Keep What's going this on, Bengals fan. Keep this driver moving. Shotgun takes a snap, rolls out to the right, Got throws. That's a catch and a first down by Michael Pittman Jr. That's two first downs in a row on this drive. What the Colts are moving the football, and we even got Matt Ryan on the move out there. All right, offensive line doing a good job. Now receivers doing a good job. Now here's the here's the part. Play smart football, protect that thing, and keep this chains moving. Yeah, let's 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 not turn the football over, guys. Shotgun running back to the right. We got split receivers on the field. Takes a snap. That's a handoff. Jonathan Taylor made the dude miss. He was going to be tackled for a four or five yard loss and turns it into a two yard gain. Jonathan Taylor, I don't know how that dude got back there, but holy crap. I didn't see how he, like, burst through the line, but yeah. boy, did he get out there quick. Come on. Someone God, missed God. their assignment on that one. That's for darn sure. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, a quick glance, it looked like fries, but I don't know if it was a stun or what happened there, so. Uh, it was too quick to be a stun. Yeah. Maybe a twist. Or, Split. Mm -hmm. Spread formation, running back to his right. Shotgun takes a snap. Another quick fake handoff. Oh, Kylan Grant and Brady go, back on go. a goal. Takes it all the way to the 10 yard That's line. right. That's Kylan right. Kylan Granson using his speed to create after breaking a tackle on second down and nine. And he went gone. And that's why Kylan is on this team. Dude's got quickness. Wow. He had number 30 playing from behind, and <laughs> that was it. Great play. Great play. All the way to the 10-yard line. Colts, first and – well, 11. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Takes a snap. Hand off. Jonathan Taylor sees a little bit of daylight. Pounding forward. Picks yep. up seven on the run. Second down and three. They can legitimately get a first down without getting a touchdown. But why don't we just get the touchdown screw? Yes, absolutely. And but now we're starting to see the <laughs> uh, now that we're starting to see those first down plays are getting three to five to six yards. Saturday oh. was on the sideline, fired up. <laughs> Man, good job, young Park Frazier. Under center, Matt Ryan. Remember, we used to hold on, handoff. Uh, that's not Jonathan Taylor. I think I think that was Jordan Wilkins. I think that was 29. Oh, it was Jonathan Taylor. Okay, I thought so, but. No, that's. Yeah, that is Jonathan yeah. Taylor. He lost a couple on that play. He lost two yards on that run. Uh, they they sent a run blitz there. Yeah. They they sent it. That was a good play call by the Raiders. Third, Third down and four. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get the first down at least. Four receivers to the right. Okay, now only three. Takes a snap, steps, dump off Jonathan Taylor. Makes the first down. And, and he cuts in. First down. And he got the first down. Oh, oh he got the first down without getting into the end zone. Jonathan Taylor is out there putting all of it on the field right now. 
all of it. Oh, that linebacker is so mad. Oh, that, oh, that it took four, three people to bring him down. Look at that. That's man. See, this is all year long. All year long, this is what we've, we've been, been missing. This. All right, man. first and goal. Hand off. Oh, no, I think we got a flag on the field. Oh, too many right. men on the field for the Raiders. <laughs> Against the Raiders. the Raiders, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's weird. Half the distance to the goal line. We were <laughs> already at the foot and a half yard line. Now we're at the take your shoe off and use your socks. Now they're uh, <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right we're literally at the one inch line. Come on, quarterback, sneak this sucker. Mm -hmm. Give Matt Ryan his first run rushing touchdown of the year. I think we have a timeout on defense. Okay. They're struggling. They're confused out there. Outstanding. Let's go. Let's okay. go. We this, are uh, running the football down their throat. Matt Ryan looks good. He's getting protection when he steps back to throw the ball. The receivers, when they get the ball, are doing stuff with it. This offense looks – we already have more offensive yards right now, offensive as a team, than we had the entire game against the Patriots. <laughs> all right? As a team, we had 84 total yards. 84 total yards. Because after you take the sacks off – yeah. We had 84 total yards. That's nuts. We have more than that now. Punch this bad boy in. Come on. What'd I say? What'd yep. I say? Give Matt Ryan his first rushing touchdown of the year, and he did. Right? And I said this earlier. That that's the thing about – that's the – and Jeff Saturday's just – yeah. Okay. So the thing about Frank Reich that I've been utterly upset about is that he was using – Matt Ryan and shotgun on situations like this. Put the man under center. That way, at least the threat of this right here, of Matt Ryan or the quarterback just leaning in between, you know, Ryan Kelly and Quentin Nelson. Who's really going to stop that duo? You know, they're going to fall forward. That's exactly what happened. Colts take the lead. It's six nothing, hopefully seven nothing here in just a minute. Indianapolis. Outstanding, outstanding drive. Like you said, r good balance of run and pass. I mean, Michael Pittman Jr.'s back in there making them big third down completions. Outstanding. Is it, this is the second first quarter lead we've had all year. The second. <laughs> Because the first one was against, uh, was it Kansas City, right? Three, three nothing. <laughs> yeah, was a three nothing lead against Kansas City after that muff punt. Mm. All right, this feels good. This feels. This good. is. Is this not the first time the Colts have scored a touchdown yes. first in a yes. game? Yes. Yep. Yeah, like I said, we we have not witnessed this. <laughs> Man. I'll tell you right now, I'm more happy about the balance that we showed right there. I mean, I don't even I'll, I'm ecstatic that we got to touch up. But to sit there and see this balanced attack, you know what I mean? This is this is awesome. Yeah, Sierra Lee says, we scored in the red zone. <laughs> and it wasn't a field goal. Ryan says there's a there's a lot of Colts fans right now pissed off that Ryan didn't fumble or throw an interception. <laughs> what am I watching? Where are the Colts? This is <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. Oh man. All right. That's only one though. Well, I mean, honestly, with Matt Ryan out there and this offensive line can just keep getting this push. This could feel like last year or the year before. You know, what I mean, this really could, you know. Absolutely. Guys, if you're in here and you have not smashed that like button yet, please do so to help with the analytics. So this will this stream will get out to more people. We'd appreciate it a ton. Um, if you want to help in other ways, you can hit share button, uh, share it to your favorite social media, and of course, don't forget uh, multiple ways. Well, first off, if you want to watch the same stream we're watching, boop, there it is. There's a link to the Discord so you can watch the same stream we're watching and react with us. 
Uh, another thing that, um, obviously the donation link right here at the top of the description of this video, um, it's basically a super chat, a lot, lot better than a super chat. Any donations is much, much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Uh, 71 of you in here. Indy's winning. Rumor Indy has is it. winning. Rumor has it. The more likes we get, the better the offensive production is going to be on the field. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, if we get 150 likes, we're going to win this game. By two touchdowns. <laughs> okay. The more likes we have, the bigger the winning margin is going to be. All right. We're just going to go that route. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's keep this going. First 10 games, nine. Our first 10 games. Look, Matt Ryan sitting there on the field like, I might actually play next year if we continue <laughs> doing this good. <laughs> first quarter point. First quarter points. In the first nine games, 10. And now this game, we got seven. All right, here's the kick, and it goes into the end zone. Matt Ryan and – or Matt Ryan, sorry. Derek Carr and the Raiders' offense will take the field for the third time, this time at the 25-yard line. They have yet to get a first down, ladies and gentlemen. The Colts just walked the field for a touchdown on their second drive of the game because <laughs> this, we we, we, we got to keep that first drive scoreless streak alive, <laughs> right? And, and and Easy Baby says Matt Ryan would have died last week. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree <laughs> with that. All right, all set. I formation, man in motion, quarterback under center, takes a snap, handoff. Jacobs, he's met. Oh, Bobby! But yeah. he spins mm. right out of the tackle of Bobby Okereke and picks up five. It'll be second and five upcoming at the thirty. Had him for a gain of two and let him go. Ah. Grove is like, I got you. I'll clean it up. It's Josh Jacobs, though. He's he's a good running yeah. back. He's oh, going to make people miss. I got you. It's just Come like, on. I mean, how many times did we say Jonathan Taylor made people miss in that last drive? Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, guys. All right. Two running backs in the backfield with him in shotgun. Takes a snap. Steps back. Got two guys to dump off to. Doesn't dump it. Actually gets rid of the football. Uh, and he's going to call that a catch. Okay. All the Colts are waving it out, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a catch. And that's Hollins, I think. No, Look, it's not. It's that not ball a hit catch. the ground. That, that ball sure hit the ground. It. Great timing right there by I believe that's Kenny Moore. And I think we're going about to see a red flag throw up by uh Jeff Saturday. Or at you least know, did we butter. He already oh, yeah, it. he did. He just picked it up. But that, and, right. and see, and this is the funny thing. The, this is the little areas and the little, yeah, that hits the ground 100%. That was an Alec Pierce play from the earlier one. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jeff Saturday, exact you know, it's, same it's, thing. it's pretty cool, though, you know, because things like this, you know what I mean? That communication from up top to Jeff Saturday and stuff to decide to even, <clears> these are things that I was more curious about. How quickly could they get some of that? Stuff? And I know it sounds, ridiculous or whatever but we've seen where you know where the communication breaks down or they don't get that challenge flag out in time and then it, it's a pivotal play and right now your defense is playing lights out you have a chance to put them what third and four or third and five absolutely <laughs> kenny moore says i see you rock i can do it too <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you scott campbell <laughs> yeah but i mean that's a, right now I mean, you said that you look at which teams had to call all the timeouts to get the right players out on the field and stuff. It's not us. For a change, it's not us. We don't have I mean? too many men on the field, right? <laughs> we don't have a bunch of timeouts. We don't have this. Jeff Saturday's actually coaching a good game right now. So far. Yeah, I mean, I know it's only a quarter in, but – Hey, that's uh, we're uh, you. Let's be honest. He's going to be get graded play by play, uh, but at least we can look at quarter by quarter and see, you know, how comfortable this team is looking and. Man, I, I can't help it. I, I'm like super hyped right now. I feel like uh, nine weeks, nine weeks of excitement swelling up to just erupt whenever this game just gets out of hand. <laughs> yep. Come on. Well, Get to be fair, easy baby. Um, uh, last week, Sam Ellinger took a 19-yard sack with no pressure. Okay, so I'm mean, <laughs> gonna say yeah. <laughs> Matt I, Ryan definitely was not playing flawless football. That's not what we're saying at all. No, but whenever you sit all. there and you look at move, when you you look at just the, the overall production from the offense, you know what I mean? And, and like I said, this is not a slight to Sam. That Sam's, you know, 
<laughs> Sam doesn't have 14 and a half years of experience. Sam nope. hasn't been to a Super Bowl and stuff. So that's the only difference this is, you know, and that's why I, <clears throat> I, the, the organization loves Sam. And I, I have, I would say that the, he is totally not out of their future. But right now, like you said, uh, Jeff Saturday's come in and he's like, I just got to put the best, best guys on the field to give me the best chance of winning. Trailus's question here. We've talked about that on believe uh, Rodney brought, brought it, that brought it up. Gerard agreed with me. I agreed with him. Uh, it is, you know, um, but yeah, this should be an incomplete pass. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there, there's just no way that, Third and six. Let's get three and out again. Come on. Three receivers to the left, running back to the left. Now it's going to be split receivers. Takes a snap. Three-man rush, four-man rush. Throws over the middle. What a play by Brandon Faison. Faison. Nice. What a play by Brandon Faison. Diving in there, getting a, P, a DPI, and forcing another three and out. Forcing another three and out, guys. Watch this. He comes in, and wow, what a play. I mean, <laughs> let's go. Three drives let's go. Gave up a first down yet. And here's the punt. Takes the ball at the 10. Cootie comes back out. Cut. Oh, nice using Face. his blocker. All the way to the 20. I don't think that was a face mask. I think the hand got up there, but he didn't actually grab. You could you could slap a face mask all day no, long. I, you have yeah. to you have to grab that sucker. <laughs> What's your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> Laquan right. Millender, what's up? I assume you mean this link right here. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go, guys. Wow. And now the Colts come out there again. Now, I know a lot of you are, are talking about, you know, the Matt Ryan shouldn't be out there. Look, it's a com different coaching staff, different attitude, different, a lot of stuff. You know, the coach is going to do what he wants to do. Three receivers to the right, running back to the right. At the 20-yard line, shotgun, takes a snap, steps back, dumps it. Jonathan Taylor with a little bit of room to run, and he picks up 12. On the little swing pass, beautifully done, and the Colts are just moving the football. Great block by Braden Smith because not only did he take his defender, but he made – I mean, he literally just kneecapped the guy, hands down, made that screen pass a much easier pass than what we've seen in week one and week two split of this receivers. season. Outstanding block. Shotgun, split. split receivers running back to the right, takes a snap, fakes the handoff to the running back. It was a quick pass out to the sideline. It is caught, but only for like a yard. Uh, it'll be second down to nine upcoming, I think. All right. Oh, they said a gain of four. Oh, we got a flag on the play. They said it was a gain of four. Wow, it didn't look like it. I know. <laughs> Maybe I just had a really bad angle. And now it's a bull man downfield. That's a five-yard loss. And you talked about that block. That's probably it right there. No. Oh, no. They're, they're saying it was big Q. That, yeah, that was that was the play before. The block I was talking about was whenever Braden Smith oh, was yeah. on the screen pass to JT. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. First and 15. First down 15. I'll take first and 15. Well, the way we're moving the football right now, at the 27-yard line, takes a snap, delayed handoff. Jonathan Taylor just leapfrogged yeah. somebody to pick up three yards. Who keeps getting in the backfield, man? That left ankle of his is taped up. Second and 12 upcoming was that was Max Crosby. And it's you you can't stop Max Crosby. Yeah, you he, just he's, it's he's a monster. Come on. Oh. You might be able to slow him down, but I don't think you could stop him. Get another touchdown here and three receivers, crowd. three receivers to the right, running back to the right, shotgun. It's another bubble screen to Paris Campbell, and he makes two people miss before going out of bounds for a gain of one, but he shedded two tackles. Paris. 
Yeah, but their that defense was perfect. Yeah, that defense was ready for it. Yes, yeah, sir. Defense was definitely ready for it. Nah, they didn't get no seal blocks on that at all. That was a bad blocking right there. Third down and eleven upcoming. Thirty seconds left in the first quarter. The Indianapolis Colts up seven to nothing. Come on. Jonathan Taylor to the right of Matt Ryan shotgun. Three three receivers to his left. Takes step back, steps, looks, got all day to throw. Catch by Paris oh, Campbell. Oh, 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 slides oh. down. Takes uh, come on. unnecessary roughness. I mean, I don't I don't agree with that. If that's what this is. Nope. I think we just got a holding call. And defensive holding is what they're signaling. They keep pointing back to the Colts side. Nope, we got a holding call. Yeah, that's on the defense. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. They were pointing towards Oak. Or, okay. okay. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong. Okay, so they flipped the side of the field that we were looking at then. Paris right. Campbell's been lights out all year. Paris Campbell we, has been the man. We go into the second quarter with, what is that? A lead? <laughs> the Colts have a lead going into the second quarter. Right. The Colts not only have a lead, they're looking to make it a two-score lead in the first half. Have we seen that at all this year? Our biggest lead has been nine points. <laughs> nine points. In a game. Yeah, we haven't had it. But in the first half, I think we been trailing all year ain't we yeah yeah that's why i said we have not had a, a a lead bigger than nine and yeah we definitely uh have trailed every halftime paris campbell's definitely shown all season that if he stays healthy he's electric and he's worthy of having a contract and i've been saying that since he's been here when mm -hmm. watching his film i'm like dude's good he's just been getting hurt well, so far he's been staying healthy, and look what he's out there doing. <laughs> Easy Baby goes, how many times can we play the Raiders? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's just <laughs> – we'll enjoy this one, and then we'll, we'll see – we'll get a hold of the NFL and see what they can do for us. The good thing about the Raiders is uh, – well, this game – I mean, it's not like the, the Raiders are awful. I mean, they have a pass rush, right? Max Crosby is a beast. All right, uh, and, and Rocky Sin is good at taking away your number one receiver, or Rocky yeah. Sin is. Um, so, I mean, they, they do have some playmakers on defense, but their offense is still really good, and our defense has been lights freaking out. Uh, question about Parks. Dude, I've liked Parks Frazier since 2018 when he came in. Uh, I met him in 2019, um, talked to him. He helped get a, a guy uh, – uh, a fan uh, mailed me a onesie. Uh, his infant had passed away. He mailed me the onesie. I took it to training camp, gave it to Parks Frazier so that Andrew Luck and Frank Reich and, and, and the team could sign that and then send it off to the guy. So, uh, and, and Parks and his wife, Carolyn Can, wasn't his wife at the time, helped me initiate that. Parks is a very genuinely good dude. Genuinely yeah. good dude. Yeah, and he's he's definitely a representation of what you know, what just the Midwest values and stuff. You know, the kid, he's not afraid of hard work. And, and the thing is, is everybody's been busting the chops of Saturday and Fraser for jumping at these opportunities and saying that they weren't deserved. Hey, these guys have been, you know, especially Parks has been sleeping in his car when he first got into the NFL. I mean, he's put in a lot of long hours this week, and it's starting to show. The Raiders right now have zero yards offense. Handoff, Jonathan Taylor runs right up the gut. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on here. He gets to about the 51-yard line. The Colts cross midfield. Second down and manageable upcoming. Now just keep a hold of that ball and keep this thing moving, just like last time. Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, because and the thing is, is the better part of this Raiders defense is the run stopping. And right now the Colts are starting to get a good, a real good rhythm and stuff in their run game. Quarterback under center handoff, Jonathan Taylor. Again, he's got a little bit of running room and he picks up the longest run of the night, about 12 yards and a first down and Colts are closing in on 
scoring range for a field goal already. Mm. Come on. Guys, I don't know how you guys pick Josh Allen when he's out there throwing with a messed up elbow. I mean, oh, quick play right here by the Colts. Paris Campbell with a catch. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's Michael Pittman Jr. I just saw one, okay? (laughs) I didn't see the other one. But still, that's a pickup of seven right there. Second down and three upcoming. Colts look like they're going into that whole, you know, no, you know, hurry up. I don't know if it's, it's not a no huddle, but it's kind of a hurry up offense going on right now. Matt Ryan likes to see the defense and make any changes if he needs to, or just hurry up and snap if he likes what he sees. Second down and three. Colts on the drive again at the 30 yard line. Come on. Come Under center, on. takes a snap, handoff, Jonathan Taylor, Max Crosby back there yeah. again. Miley Cox just whiffed on that. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Mm. Third and three upcoming. Max Crosby is a monster, though. Does have a very fast step. He was in the backfield about the same time that freaking Jonathan Taylor handed the football off or got the handoff. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how you put a tight end one-on-one with Max Crosby, though. All right. Split receivers. Spread. Shotgun. Takes a snap. Steps up. Quick throw. And that – oh, there's a guy down for the Raiders. He's holding his knee. Masterson. Looks like he's done for the game. Uh Well, we're going to get a field goal here upcoming. It'll it'll be a 47-yard field goal upcoming. I'll tell you right now. Keep playing that keep playing that type of ball and they're going to get more PIs called than not. That was awful early. <laughs> All right. That was I, I don't like that pass. That was the first pass I didn't like from Matt Ryan. I didn't like him making that choice to throw there. The guy he he was sandwiched between two dudes. Uh, not a good, if he'd held the ball, he, he had a little bit of time. He could have held the ball a little bit longer and then dumped it off to Jonathan Taylor, which probably would have picked up the first down, but it didn't happen because Jonathan was back there ready to make any blocks. You know, if someone got through where it was a blitz or something, there was, it was a clean pocket. So Jonathan just kind of slipped out, you know, and he was running out into, you know, uh, right in front of the, the area where the first down marker was when Matt Ryan threw the football. But like you said, get this field goal, hopefully. But to be fair, the way this offensive line has played all year, I understand the clock in Matt Ryan's head. You got to get rid of that football, right? What's up, Vid boss? Appreciate you. All right. Let's just continue to add to this, guys. Come on now. I'll tell you right now, I know what you're saying, but I'm still pleased that, you know, once again, we're moving that ball or, you know, we didn't finish this drive off yet. I mean, I wouldn't want, that be something Saturday to sit there and go for it on fourth and be like, I don't, oh think. yeah, this, I know I'm saying, wouldn't it be something though? Oh yeah. This is a little different too, by the way, than what I said. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit different where I said, I'm taking the points. It's a 47 yard field goal. If it's made, the Colts will have their first 10 point lead of the year. Of the year. Keep it this time. <laughs> Keep right. it. This is this is what we were hoping for. Just enjoyable competitive football. Let's start there and then uh Amen, Basil. Amen. Yes, they do, DJ. They look a lot different, and it has a lot to do with the guy that walked in, I think. He's got him playing with uh emotion, I think. No, Jason. Oh, mate. we're we're gonna punt. Oh, okay, no, no, no. What's gonna say? Look like he was trying to punt. Um, I wanted to grab this for Jason. We know Quentin Nelson just got resigned. He's like twenty million a year now. Yeah. All right. Forty-eight yard attempt down the left hash mark. Falls down. Kick is up. Good. And the Colts get their first 10-point lead of the year. Of the year. Boy, he came close to missing that, though. But he made it. (laughs) And the Colts are up 10-0 right now. 
Are you kidding me? You're a- absolute Sierra with the way our defense is playing, you take the stinking points, <laughs> right? They've given up negative yardage so far this game. That's crazy. Last week, the Colts only gave up 100 and like, they gave up less than 200 total yards. Mm-hmm. Less than 200 total yards to the, our defense has been playing freaking phenomenal all year. Yeah, not to mention that our defense is not going to be gassed out, you know, like they were the last couple games because of their offense not <coughs> not not giving them time to get their legs under them and stuff. So this is uh, this is about as good a start I think as anybody could hope for. You know, I mean, aside from maybe a penalty or two. I'll tell you what the Colts currently right now in what I predicted for points because I said until they show me something different. I have to go by what I've seen in the past. And that kickoff goes out the back of the end zone. I said, I have to go by what was in the past. And with what I saw from the past, I chose the Colts to score 10 points this game. That's it. 10. And our defense would give up uh, 17. We would lose 17 to 10. So far, it's 10 nothing. All right. Needless to say, the Colts are playing way better right now than what we've seen all year. Well, maybe not our defense. Our defense has played pretty darn good all year. All right, shotgun. Three wide receivers to the left. Takes a snap. Quick dump off to the running back. Who's got who's, who had a block. Bobby O. Bobby nice. Okereke came off his block and made that tackle. That was beautiful. I thought I thought Josh Jacobs had a run <laughs> for like 20 yards because I, I saw that he was being blocked out. And Okereke came off that tackle great. Come on. Come on now. Let's get these guys behind these chains. All right. Second down and six. I formation. Two receivers to the left. One in motion. Now we got split receivers. Takes a snap. Handoff to the running back. A Uh-oh. good Uh-oh. cut. Good tackle. Good. good tackle. That was a good cut by Josh Jacobs. Um, It was a tackle. A uh, seven-yard run as he literally ran all the way around like he's like nope the hole's not here i'm going this way and good tackle uh by kenny moore to save a long run Mm -hmm. good open field tackle by him because had he missed him he was getting a lot of yardage (laughs) yeah all right under center two receiver split receivers single setback at the 37-yard line, takes a snap, steps back, seven-step drop, quick dump off to the running back, and he picks up about seven. It'll be second down and three upcoming. That was uh, a weird decision there by Kenny Moore on the tackle. Mm. You know what I mean? It he, did, like he, he, gonna... he avoided it on purpose because I think I, he I was know. afraid <laughs> of hitting his own guy. Because if you look, see, he did not want to get uh, that – had he continued to make that tackle, all he would have done was hurt him or Okereke. Yeah. So that was a good move by him. How many times have we seen two defenders crash into each other? Yeah, that, that friendly and, fire can be a pain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Offset eye formation, quarterback under center, takes a snap. That's going to be a handoff to the running God. back. Oh. He made he made him miss and then Rodney. picks up four yards. That was Rodney. a hell of a freaking juke by Jacobs. Jacobs Rodney not got playing good. Rodney got tackled on this play. Watch this again if they show. Rodney shoots through there, man. Rodney mm-hmm. McLeod, that is. He shoots through there, and then he literally is getting tackled. Josh yeah. Jacobs playing a very good game right now. They picked up their the, – the, the Raiders are finally starting to uh, piece together a little bit of a drive. They're at about midfield. Let's stop this defense. Come on. Split receivers, quarterback under – or no, shotgun, empty backfield, three receivers to his right at the 48-yard line. Takes a snap, three man rush all day long. Too easy. That's a, that's a yeah. They were playing soft zone right there, as um, Devonte Adams picks up the catch about seven. Second down we, and three yeah. upcoming. We are not getting enough push on this defensive line. We've got to get in his face. Why? Why are we pocket. running soft zone with only three rushers? Come on, Gus. And yeah, we were just killing these guys. Come on now, mm-hmm. dude. We got you there. Let's keep it. Yeah, I, mean, I know you got to tweak it and not you know be predictable, but shotgun takes a handoff. 
There Jacobs go. tackled nice. for a gain nice. of one. It'll be third down and two upcoming. Kenny Moore and Zaire Franklin back there. Yeah, Kenny's a little dinged up. I'm, I, they may have to take him off the field. Kenny's been out there playing hard-nosed football, though, today. Yeah, looks like the refs are coming in and making them take off the Third down and two upcoming. <sighs> Come on, defense. Let's get off the field here. Remember they said they treat the 50 like the goal line. Come on. Yep. All right, under center, takes snap, handoff to the running back, and he yes. cremated at the yes, goal let's go, line defense. of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and two and a half. Dio got in there and used that long arm and just made him have to kick it out just a little bit and took all of his forward momentum yep. right there. See? And then the rest of the guys came in and cleaned it up. Oh, Kenny is still out there. Cool. Official must have thought it was all good. They're going fourth for and it. two. They're going oh. for it. fourth and two, ladies and gentlemen. Desperate teams. Come on now. Desperate teams. Make Come on. Pay. Yep. Yep. Three uh bunch bunch formation to the left. Quarterback under center, single setback. Man in motion takes a snap. It's a pitch out to the right. Got and him! What a tackle! Got him, Kenny, Kenny Moore! Moore. Oh, he is Kenny playing like a man one. possessed. Yes, Kenny has been out there playing his ass off today. That's what I'm talking about. Look and a ghost. turnover on downs. Our defense is out there playing phenomenal. And Gus <laughs> just got the biggest smile. He's like, heck yeah! That is all you that. people. I'll tell you what. I will agree. At the beginning of the year. First three weeks, Kenny Moore did not play good game. Good games. Our defense was playing well, but Kenny wasn't playing. Last few weeks, Kenny Moore has stepped it up, and I guess he's heard and seen what's being said on on social media, and he's out there playing his ass off. <laughs> yes, he is. He's. he's <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you right now, guys. This team has brought the, the spark. You know, what I mean, they brought that excitement that you we really hope to see. And like you said. Think about it. This was the first drive where they started putting it together and our defense just shut them down for zero points. Zero points. How demoralizing is that? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they barely, <coughs> barely got past the 50 on that drive. And and it's like like Rodney said on Believe, you know, once they, that 50 was like, that that was their Alamo. Yeah. That was their, let's go to treat this like they it's everything. Yeah. They've been saying, hey, look, we've been able to stop teams from getting touchdowns. Our goal is to stop them now from getting to the 50. And guess what? This first half's almost over, and they ain't got to the 50 yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Yes, it is. It's more than watchable football, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> right? Josh Parker's right. Let's go for the kill. Let's, let's, put, <clears throat> this, let's put this first half to bed the right way. Because let's not forget, the Colts also get to do that that infamous double dip. You know what I mean? We get the ball here, and if we can sustain a drive and use up most of this clock and get some points, then we, get then the we turn around and get it. Yeah, beginning of the second half. I mean, this guys, this Las Vegas fan base could very easily find themselves looking for the exit by the end of third quarter. I want to know how many people right now that completely and utterly trashed the Jeff Saturday hiring is watching this game going, oh, oh, Colts yeah. look pretty damn good now. What? But, but, but of course, you know, they called that too. You'll find somehow, some way, they'll see, I knew he'd do that. I, I was, I've been telling everybody he'd do that. I, I agree, guys. Yes, the Raiders are a bad team, but they're not that bad. Offensively, they're actually pretty decent, and they have a pass rush. Yeah. But so yeah. far, guess what? Zero sacks. And, you know, we're doing oh, another Paris Campbell sighting. Six-yard gain. Second down and four upcoming. And the thing is, is we've been playing poorly against the bad team. Look, yeah. we went, what, what was it? Our overtime game against the Texans, you know, then turn around and made the Jaguars look like Hall of Fame Super Bowl bound teams. I and mean, the Raiders ain't that bad. Think about this, okay? They've had four games this year where they were leading by 17 or more and lost those games because their defense couldn't stop them. Get it. Hand get off it. Jonathan Taylor. Yes. We picked first up down. five for a first down. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I got to do this real quick. Because I just noticed it. I'm sorry, my guy. Appreciate you. There we go. Joe Mama in here. Finally, a play caller who's willing to smack people in the mouth. <laughs> Five bucks. Appreciate you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. 
I absolutely agree with that. This is uh this has been a really good, diverse play calling. I'm very pleased with this. And the run game's doing something. Fakes the handoff. Got a little bit of time. Oh, he's got a lot of rip. Oh, he's Let going downtown and he overthrows. Ooh. Oh, he just Ooh. overthrew Michael Pittman Jr. Oh. Well, they had all day to throw, too. I'll tell you right now, man. Pittman looked like that second tap to himself was going to make it. And then 26 come in and just. No, that not 20, no, that was 30. 30. Yeah, he came in and blew it up. I was just like, look at that. He He's almost like, tipped it to yeah. himself. Oh, oh good Arman, effort. Good Arman effort. had a heck of a nice little hit there. Second down 10. But, hey, take that shot once in a while. Absolutely. That'll, that'll kind of spread this defense out a little bit. Shotgun. Takes a snap, handoff, John. No, it wasn't a handoff. It was a quick pass over the middle. Gucci. Gucci, and he oh. fumbled it. Fucking son of a mother effing SOB. He may be down. He may be down. We he got a flag down. on the field. That could also help. I know I just said some really bad words. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> I heard myself. I, I fell over. Be down. Be down. No. Nope. He's not. God nope. bless it. Raiders have the football. Man. Kiki, my guy. Robertson a, came in here and just punched it out right at the end. That was a good this, play by Robertson. What's this penalty? I mean, now, you know, we got to figure out what that is, I guess. Or did Cootie, they pick the Cootie trying to go after the ball, no helmet. <laughs> they did say a flag, didn't they? Yeah, but it was against the offense. Oh, it was. All right. Yeah. Gosh darn it, Rich in here is is Leonard playing for the other team today? Because <laughs> that that's kind it kind of looked like one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh darn it, man! On the other side of the fifty again. We were at the what the twelve. I think is what he got to before he fumbled the football. Mm -hmm. Something like, I mean, we're, we were deep in their territory. All right. Defense, do us a favor and get us one of them. Yeah. Our, <laughs> our, the, the, it was a illegal man downfield. Okay. Thanks, Trey. No, I, I, I knew that's what it was. I seen him oh, do okay. this. I just, what did he do? I, I just said, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. That hurt. <laughs> I just muttered because I kind of heard that through the headphone. Here. I was like, oh, he did that with purpose. <laughs> yeah. But it just sucks. That's a turnover. Yeah. Ryan West. And, it still and, hurts. And there. <laughs> mm. All right, defense. Man, I wanted to finish this off. off. Yeah, still I'm got done. time to okay. do that. Cootie doesn't take another snap the rest of the game. Mm. After that, I mean, I get it. It's a good play by the defense. Great peanut punch right there by when was it Robertson? Good, good play by the defense. But you can't fumble the football. You Alex. cannot fumble the football. Alex Steele says, "Yeah, same old story." See, and that's you know the thing. You know, is this team <laughs> bringing Jeff Saturday is, and is not going to make all this go away? You know, what I mean, it's just not. You know, you, these guys are playing better ball, but like you said, Kuti. I mean, how many chances does he get on the offensive side of thing? One or two plays, and then mm -hmm. you turn around and make one of them end up being this painful? Yeah. And, mm, man. If you have the ball with three points and tied up against your body, you can't punch that ball out. All right? You, I mean, you can't. You can hit that ball as many times as you want, as hard as you want. It ain't coming out. But it's hard to keep it up against your body, I will admit, when you're diving and trying to make a play and you're coming down to the ground because your arm naturally wants to come out to protect yourself from hitting the ground. Come on, defense. 21-yard line. At the 21, I formation, big formation. They're going to try to run the football. And Jacobs picks up three and a half yards on that carry. It'll be second down and six and a half yards to go. EJ Speed in on the tackle. Good to see him out there again today. Come on. They gave him a gain of three. Second and seven. 
Six minutes and 10 seconds left. Come on, defense. Let's get a three and out. Give our offense some time to do something still. All right. Shotgun. Split receivers. Come on. Got a tight end on the right side. Takes a snap. Steps up. Oh. Under pressure. Throws. What a catch by Jacobs for a first down. Picks up 10. Wow. That was a hell of a throw off his back foot. Right here. Hell of a throw off his back foot. And that is literally, I mean, the force is, they aren't going to show, but the force is hanging, hanging off of Derek Carr when he released that ball. I mean, just last, oh, come on, defense. Get a turnover, defense. Come on. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Fakes the handoff. He's under pressure immediately. Uh Uh-oh, Moreau. And good tackle by uh, Rodney McLeod, but he picks up a good 15 yards Gosh. and a first down there. Who's this supposed to be? Let's see here. Just... It was it was a free rusher. Yeah. No, I knew that. I was trying to see. Yeah, looked like Bobby O. Maybe just let him. Got behind him on the motion. All right. All right. Come on, guys. First Let's go. And 10. At the Colt. Hey, they crossed the 50. There's the handoff. Defoe grabs him. That's right. Brings him down. Says, nope, you ain't going nowhere. You pick up okay. a yard. Let's keep doing it. Right here's where they cost that last turnover. Let's do it again. Yep. No, they, 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 well. Turnover on downs. So. They, the turnover on down was on the other side of the 50. <laughs> They're on the Colts side now. I know. Shotgun, offset eye formation, two receivers to the right. Or no, three receivers to the left. No, okay. Man in motion. Fakes the handoff. Another screen play this time. Great. Great yeah. stop, Zaire. Great Zaire stop. Zaire read that from the get-go for a two-yard tackle loss. Right there, Zaire Franklin read that read that screenplay immediately and ran downhill to make that tackle. Zaire has been playing really good football in place of uh, uh, Darius Shaquille Leonard this year, mm-hmm. I'll tell you that. Yep. Yes, sir, Th- he has. Third down and 10, chance for the Colts to actually make Come something on. happen. Come on. 46-yard line, shotgun, three receivers to the right, running back to the right, takes a snap. It's going to be a, a, a – oh, he's going to try to th- – Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, my God. God. Okay. That was the worst tackling I ever saw. Now, okay, so he throws it out. There's a flag. He throws it out to Devontae Adams. Devontae then stands there like he's going to throw the football. Colts wait for a second, then blitz him. We got holding on the offense. Whew, that – that. oh, my goodness. Okay, and then he takes off running, and every Colt on the whole team misses the tackle until the very end after he picks up like 14, 15 yards on the run. But there was holding by the offense, which saved our asses on that play. And we sent a blitz. Right there, one, two, three, four, five. It took the sixth guy to hit him to bring him down. Wow. You got a message in there from Video Boss. I'll be there in just a second, my guy. I got a third down and eight play, and then I'll get a, I'll get get it up there. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Another quick little dump off to the running base. Tackled before fourth, the line fourth, of scrimmage. Yep. It'll be fourth and one at the 36. They're, they'll, they'll probably kick a field goal or go for it. The Venmo went through. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything right now. I don't have Venmo. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. Get us off the field again, fellas. Right here again. All right. Fourth and one. They're going for I formation, big formation. They're going to go for a quarterback sneak. Nope. It is a handoff to Jacobs, and he's going to get the first down Uh, by inches. By inches. 
Oh, that was the world's. Okay. <laughs> Come on, defense. Let's finish this thing solid. This is really, really a big, huge drive. <clears throat> because, I mean, big, huge drive. I mean, he bounced around a couple times, and we almost tackled him, but he had like three or four different efforts right there for Jake. Jacobs has been everything for this this Raiders offense so far today. Everything. Yep. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, I mean, you really haven't had a whole lot from Adams whatsoever. And <sighs> Come on, guys. Sure would like a turnover. I don't even want to get a field goal right now. I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> Absolutely. 100 of you in here. Can you guys please smash that like button? I'd appreciate it. Yeah, nothing's coming easy. Nothing is coming easy. Nope. I know we get the ball in the second half, but we'd still like this stop right here. Mm. Uh, if you guys want to use that donation link right here, uh, if you're able to help donate a little extra money uh, to support the channel, we'd appreciate it very much. Uh, don't forget, we have a Patreon, $5 a month. Uh, we get together every Wednesday, hang out for a few hours, just talk. Only Patreon members only get to come in, hang out, and talk. Uh, plus, you get all the Believe shows on Tuesdays. Uh, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all of them gets uploaded, unedited, uncut. Right on for Patreon only. It's only five bucks a month, plus other stuff. Come on, these commercials are killing me, man. I want right. to do this and get out of here and put a, put an end to this drive. By the way, I know it's not Veterans Day, but shout out to all the veterans out there. Really appreciate all you guys for everything and all the sacrifices including your family members. Well, to be fair, we didn't have a Veterans Day uh, stream. Yeah, because so. yeah, I know. Hmm. It's a very interesting game. Hopefully, we keep this going. Yeah, I was hoping that we could put, put this uh, fan base, you know, back on their heels, but now we're giving them something to be a little excited about. It'd be nice to get a <coughs> turnover here. Get a turnover here, guys. Come on. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Two-minute warning. Under center is Derek Carr at 35-yard line. I formation, big formation. Come on, defense. Takes a snap. It's a pitch. Oh, he's got all day and, and then some to run. Oh, my God. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 23-yard run. That was a toss sweep for 23 yards. Josh Jacobs, wow. Fetty's first two steps made that easier, too. Watch this. Number 59, he just step, comes crashing in too quickly. See what I mean? And then he yeah. had to run it back out. No edge there whatsoever. Gosh! <coughs> First and 10 at the 12-yard line for the Raiders. Come on, Effetti. You can do better than that, my guy. Come on now. They're going to call timeout. Yeah. All right, minute 13 left. Uh, this is rough. Yeah, yeah, this is not how you wanted to finish this half off because everything was going, I mean, the. Mm, let's go, let's go. Come on now. Let's go. All right. <coughs> well, come on, dude. They're tired. They've been on there for a minute now. Uh, Raiders got a nice little bit of, of movement going. You know, if we could take Josh Jacobs, <coughs> we could neutralize Josh Jacobs, Raiders would be in a lot of trouble. Yes, sir. We said that going in, you know, pregame. You know, we just make Shot them one dimensional. Shotgun, dump off. That's Josh again. And he's going to pick up about four. Oh, no, that ain't Josh this time. It's the other running back. Okay, so what's that? Second and six upcoming. At the eight-yard line. Oh, the Colts called timeout. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, with a minute six, they're tr they're trying to eat clock and score. I guess uh, Saturday's thinking, no, 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 no. This is definitely saying my defense is going to hold right here, right now. He wants, he wants, he wants that ball. He ain't done. Good to see Shaq out there. I mean, he made the flight, so that's good to see. I was wondering with him. Uh, I guess Monday he's supposed to get that neck injury or neck nerves and stuff checked into. Shotgun, empty backfield, three receivers to his right. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Takes a snap, steps, has time, throws. He catches it, uh, but he's well short of the first down. By a yard, it'll be third down and one upcoming. What an outstanding catch. But it's third down and one at the four. Yep. Man, what a good catch. This young man is special, isn't he? Yep. Bobby O got hurt on that route real bad. <laughs> but why is the... Why is Bobby o trying to guard Devonte Adams too? Though I guess. Yep. Come on. Come on. All right, go Shadow. Come on. All right, come on, guys. Third down and one. I send a blitz here. Not a wow. big one. Five guys. Under center, single setback. Takes a snap. Rolls out to the right. Under pressure. What a catch. What a cat. Brandon Faison couldn't have played that any better. Brandon Faison couldn't have played that any better. That was a hell of a lead, hell of a throw, hell of a catch. Once they again, earned, I'll tell you what, the Raiders earned that touchdown. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, once they got the ball, but man, that turnover. Yeah. Gosh, darn it. Yep. So basically, what that was, it was an out uh, a post post route, or I'm sorry, an out route, corner route, and uh, Derek Carr threw it right, perfectly led him, perfectly led him to where Faison couldn't get to it. Faison had him blanketed, but just could not get to it. But look at it, he's right there, right. I mean, he right there, but I think they're. Feet got tripped up there at the second. They were both falling down as the ball was arriving. But the Colts still have a three-point lead heading, you know, a couple few seconds left on the clock. Man, Matty Ice, 58 seconds, my guy. <laughs> We've seen you do, do a lot of magic with these short clocks and stuff. Now would be a nice time to get some of that momentum to go back in the locker room. Even if it's just a field goal, just, you know, let's go. I don't know, Alonzo. Was you here earlier when Faison made, like, the uh, an amazing uh, mm -hmm. defended pass? I mean, he blanketing his guy that time was able to knock the ball out. It was it was pretty impressive. I think it was the first drive, first drive uh, the third down conversion that he knocked out. It's pretty impressive. So far, the defense is playing well, except for some missed tackles. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm seeing a lot and, of missed tackles. Missed tackles and a couple edges that have been not not uh, not been solid enough. Mm. But overall today, you know, I think our defense has played decent. Uh, I mean, honestly, they've, they've only given up seven points for a half. That's pretty good. I mean, I'll take that every week. If you only give up seven points per half, I'm, I'll take that all day, every day. I mean. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir, because the thing is, is, here again, you know, the Raiders are one of those teams that on the second half, they fall off. And for the most part, for the most part, this Colts team has been much better producing in the second half. Honestly, the Col uh, th this game right now should be 17 to nothing. Mm -hmm. And all, if it wasn't for the, the fumble. That, yeah, that turnover the, was, mm, and that's the thing. I just don't want it to steal all the momentum. I get it. It hurt and it, and it pulls some of this momentum. But Matty Ice, let's get out there. Like I said, let's see. Get us some field goal range. Get us, you know, at least give us something to just start that spark again. 
because we really had these guys on their heels. So let's just make mm -hmm. it look like it now. Come on. Derek Carr completed the last his last 10 passes. Mm -hmm. Only two of them. Yards. And only two of them broke you know, what, 12 and 21. You know, outside yeah. of that, everything has been a little dink and dunk variety. Yep. It's been Josh Jacobs in the run game. Yeah. Which is weird because we've been pretty good in the run defense this year. Uh, which All right. All right. Colts get the ball. Two timeouts, 58 seconds left at the 25-yard line as that kickoff was out the back of the end zone. Wonder what wonder what old Mr. Saturday and Park Frazier's has got up their sleeve. What is what what are they opening up this this drive with? I, you know, I mean that'll be a, a definite statement maker right here. Go out there and try to get a field goal. Get in field goal range. I'd be happy. All right. Shotgun. Split receiver. Three receivers to his left. Quick pass. There you go. That's quick pass. Kylan Granson picks up six, seven yards. It'll be second and short upcoming. Man. They're in hurry-up mode. Come on. Split receivers again. There's a snap. Takes a snap. Another quick pass. That's Kylan oh, yeah. again. First down. Another six, seven yards. Stops the clock at 38 seconds. Okay. One, two timeouts. Come on now. 38 so, seconds left. Two so timeouts. Whole, so the whole field is wide open. Mm-hmm. I read Scott Campbell's message. He said two turnovers and 58 seconds. Like, right. No, right. that's timeouts. I got you. That quick pass over the middle. Nice catch. That's Kylan again. Three catches in a row. Gets to the 50. Take, take that timeout. Yes, sir. 32 seconds. Take left. that timeout. Good job, Kylan Granson. Granson's just been on fire this game. Granson, not just this, this drive has been all Granson, but yeah. this, this game, he's been playing really good football. Yeah, let's go. Now they're going to have to definitely try to work it out of bounds a little bit more. Quit showing him calling the plays. They got people that can read lips. <laughs> no kidding. Looking at him, man, he does not look rattled <clears throat> at all. You know what I mean? Just I, I, mean, I can't hear what being done. First or and 10 at the 50. 32 seconds, one timeout remaining. Takes a snap, steps back, throws, quick pass. And that's Michael Pittman Jr. for a pick. There's a flag on the play. Pickup of six. Second and four pending the flag. Hey, stops the clock, and it was in the secondary. So pass interference on the defense. All right. Stops the clock. That's huge. They're okay. Illegal contact. Yeah. Illegal contact. Pass interference and illegal contact looks exact. Looks very similar. Mm -hmm. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Keep the ball moving. 26 seconds. One timeout left. Colts at the 45-yard line. Come on, Maddie. Shotgun takes a snap. That's a handoff to the running back. That's... That's hey. well in the field goal range right That's now. Exactly. Right. Secure the three and then and then go from there. All right. They're gonna they're they're hurry up mode right now. 15, 14, 13. Takes a snap. Looks, looks, throws to the side, just throws it away. He should have just threw it to him. He could have caught it and ran for a first down. Third and three upcoming. Eight seconds. You can make a, a another quick pass. He should have yeah. hit Granson right there. Yeah, that 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 like you said, whatever five six yards he would have gotten there and got out of bounds would have gone a long ways. Yes, it would have. You going for one more, huh? Try to squeeze one more in here. You can get one more. Just make sure you go down. Be smart or get Be out. Smart. Shotgun, three receivers to the left, running back to the left. It's a handoff to the running back. He breaks a tackle, oh, gets time, all time, the time. way down. Yeah. Good to job, the 29 JP. yard line. We get a timeout with three seconds left in the half. And we're looking. Let's go. At a 47 yard field goal upcoming. Good job, JT. Look at that, too. 
That was an outstanding play where JT would have even popped that for a little more. All right. I don't know if you'd want to pop it for a little more. You only had three. I know left. time. I know, right? <laughs> Look, I love JT, and I would love to see him break one for a touchdown, but if he gets tackled, and that uh, would end the half and wouldn't have a chance for a field goal. Could you quit, please? 48-yard attempt, and he's right up the gut. There's a snap. Hold is good. Kick is up. And the Colts are up by six. Mm, good job. And the Indianapolis Colts get the ball to start the second half. The Colts walk into halftime leading 13 to seven. And the Colts are doing really, really good, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, very good. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'd like to look at some of the stats real quick. Not yeah, this man, this dude. offense has been playing consistent. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, we're still, you know, playing a little undisciplined on the penalties, and we're still turning that ball over after we get past the 50. But, man, that play right there really is the only thing that has given this Raiders, you know, team uh, any belief right now. Matt Ryan, 14 of 18, 147 yards, no turnovers. Jonathan Taylor, 13 carries, 54 it's yards. That's outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah. I knew he'd have a lot of carries this game. Over four. I mean, that, that's that's the magic mark. You know, give him over four yards of carry. Our receiving leaders, Paris Campbell, four catches, 32 yards. Kylan Granson, four catches, 57 yards. And right now, Grover Stewart's the only guy between both teams that has a sack right now. Zaire Franklin has four tackles. For the Raiders, Derek Carr is 11 of 16, 79 yards, one touchdown. Jacobs has carried the ball 11 times for 51 yards, 4.6 4. yards a carry. Oh, yeah. I, I don't like that. No. That's, <laughs> that's the one thing that's really kept him going. Jacobs also the leading receiver, four catches, 19 yards. Foster Moreau has the only touchdown for the Raiders uh, with that little out route right there that mm -hmm. uh, went through. So. But, you know, all the questions that we've been asking, will Jeff, Jeff Saturday help spark this offensive line? Check. I, I'm will, will, you know, will Park Frazier's melt under this or will he hold, <coughs> up, hold up? Check. All these boxes are being checked off in a nice fashion. You know, good time management. Haven't seen any, I mean, no questionable, I mean, you know, play calls is play calls. Everybody's going to, you know, feel one way or another about a play call, but Jeff Saturday and his time management stuff has been spot on. And like you said, you know, this offense is moving the ball. We just have to stop beating ourselves, beating yep. ourselves. First half. That's right. Thank you. Toxic. Let's get ready to say that. First lead in the it's first lead all year for the half. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. First time all year we've had to lead walking into the half. And, I've always said all, all through the year, when we, when we're, 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 if we're within 10 at halftime, we got the other team right where we want them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so it's kind of unknown territory, right? <laughs> yeah. And I, and you know, and I get it, you know, the Raiders are not what everybody thought they were going to be and stuff, but let's be honest, guys, we've been stinking it up with good teams as well as bad teams. You know, yeah, we just needed to sit there and find something to build on. You know, I mean, really, and 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 yeah, this Raiders team is it's banged up and not 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 as awesome as what everybody thought. But you, you to your point, you Devontae Adams has not killed us. You know, now we got to just real, you know, tighten things up on on Josh Jacobs a little bit this second half, and we should be okay. That's Parks Frazier making the play calls, and the guy that is you know managing the game, Jeff Saturday. I think he's doing very well as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, how he has managed the game? Um, throwing out, you know, uh, he, he's successful with his challenge. He's mm -hmm. calling the right timeouts. He's keeping the team in a hurry up. You know, yeah. I think he's doing a really, really good job uh, for this team right yeah, now. Absolutely. You know, you sit there and you, you, you go back to that timeout that he called with a minute and 18 seconds left, you know. Um, <laughs> that field goal would have been a lot tougher, a lot tougher you know, if he hadn't made that call and saved that, that, you know, 12, 15 seconds on the clock. I still, 
I still feel like the Colts should be up 20 to nothing right now. I know that turnover, you know, and that's the thing, man. You know, it's so deceiving because it's like, yeah, this, this offense was moving and grooving. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is you think about it, Colts were up what 10, nothing at the time you go up 17, nothing. Now all of a sudden it's a lot tougher to stay with Josh Jacobs. You know what I mean? It's a lot tougher to, to continue uh, using that run and stuff. Dak on it. Yeah. The Titans, Titans won 17 mm-hmm. to 10. Oh, well. We got to do our own work. That's that's, that's <laughs> s'mores indoors. Maybe Denver's gonna hire Shannon Sharp this week. <laughs> oh my! Oh, goodness. but you, but you know that'll be totally fine. That'll be a hundred percent accepted. Right. <laughs> We're not gonna say why because we don't need that kind of issue on our channel. But I get what you're saying. Hmm. Um, Scott Campbell says he thinks that Coach Saturday's silencing a lot of haters. Now, again, this is a, not a really good team. The Raiders aren't, but uh, he's not messing up. Mm-hmm. And that is a good thing, right? He's actually doing well, um, got his team playing well. So that's that's something that we're looking forward to. Now, obviously, we still have a whole half to play. We got to win this game still. So um, can you give me a couple minutes so I can? Oh, you sure. Question? Sure. Yeah. And uh Real quick, guys, if you have it, please, 115 of you in here, hit that like button. Make sure that you uh, subscribe if you uh, feel like you know, you've know you enjoyed the time with us and stuff. And then make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime we go live. But, yeah, like I said, guys, this here, <laughs> they look more than 1% better, Jason Parker says, and that – or Josh Parker, sorry, and that's one hundred percent true. You know, I mean, one percent better wouldn't have even got him off the bus without twisting an ankle or something. So, <laughs> yeah, we definitely needed uh, a bigger, bigger percentage for this one, unfortunately. And that offensive line, I mean, it's it's nice. We're actually moving the ball. You know, JT is taking advantage of this and stuff. You know, and the thing is, is we've always known if this offensive line could just get a little bit better, the team as a whole would produce at a much higher level. And that's what we're seeing today. And the thing is, is, you know, Max Crosby's come in here, you know, leading the team in sacks and stuff. Hasn't got, I mean, he's got a couple pressures, but he doesn't have a single sack. And then Chandler Jones, who's had a, a struggle all year, we're still, you know, I was worried is Chandler Jones going to come in here and, and be, you know, this be the chance where he exposes this offensive line and, and, and goes off and helps get himself off that off of that miserable start to the season. And, and he's, you haven't heard anything from him. So very happy with the, with the way our offensive line. Now I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say that it's playing perfect. Okay. You know, they're still jumping off size and stuff, but right now they're doing enough to sit there and give, you know, JT a little bit of a hole, a little bit of room to, to help, help aid and assist in these drives and stuff. And that's, that's massive. I'm so happy right now. Like I said, I, this is honestly as good as I could have hoped for. You know, uh, the I mean, think about it. That one fumble, and I know that's not the way to look at this, but man, you take that way that one turnover, and you, like I said, you 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 turn that into three or seven. Then all of a sudden, that really changes this game. So now, if we could Colts go out here, you know what, thirteen to seven, if we if we can score seven, let's open this. Let's open this second half with the touchdown. Put the pressure back on the Raiders to to put another drive together because they have not sustained consistent outside of that last drive where they got the touchdown. They have not moved the ball consistently against our defense. So, like I said, all in all, I'm real happy with where we're at. at. Now I just want to make sure that this team finishes this thing off strong. We've always relied on this team to be better in the second half. And, man, if they if they can sit there and just – duplicate and improve on what we saw in the first half it is going to be a great flight home for these guys i'm telling you what i'm very proud of this team very proud because i wasn't sure I, I wasn't sure what to expect new coach new play caller never you know and and like i said a lot of that stuff was you know just wait and give it time and you know it's early but the first half of a game i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it andy this was the first time since you're playing well You've earned me an ice cream sandwich. Hey! <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Got, uh, do you need to go take a restroom break or anything? Yeah, actually, I will here in about two minutes. I wanted to get a couple ads in here while we're during halftime. Okay.
well, I thought I was going to. I just clicked. Off. I'll leave that up to you. Heck with it. <laughs> oh, we're good. All righty, bud. See you in a minute. Yep. All right. And we are back. I am back anyhow. Woohoo! Ice cream sandwiches. I ain't had one of these in years, and I finally get one. Uh, man, it's great. It's great to actually watch this game, right? They, they're they playing so damn well right now. And, you know, like I said, I, I feel like the Colts should be up 20 to nothing at half if it wasn't for that fumble by Kuti. Notice we ain't seen Kiki Kuti on offense since then. Um, Jeff Saturday's holding people accountable. Uh, I'm not going to say that Kuti was solely responsible for that fumble. It was a heck of a defensive play. Uh, knocking the ball out. Uh, great job by them. But, you know, plays happen. Here's something for you. Matt Ryan has yet to be sacked. Matt Ryan has yet to be sacked this game. And we're talking about Max Crosby out there, right? And he's not getting hit. He's not getting sacked. He's not getting much pressure. It's just, wow. That's pretty darn good, man. That's that's unbelievable right now. Um, kudos to Jeff Saturday. Getting the right guys on the field, play the right way, and put their hard hats on and go out there and play football, right? Hmm. Toxic asking what in the world happened to Buffalo. They should have never played Josh Allen with a busted elbow. They were talking about putting him on IR. And yet they went out there and played him. Why would you do that? Right? I mean, it's just stupid. I was upset when Carson Wentz played after his double ankle injury. You don't play a quarterback, especially your throwing elbow. Come on now. What's up, Raw? Appreciate you being in there. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to call him Goober's video boss. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all. Um, dude, this is... A game where I cussed once, and I I, threw, I said some bad words on that fumble. But outside of that, I've been pretty happy. Um, the Colts have, what, they, they forced all three and outs except that last drive of the half. That last drive of the half, they drove, no. They allowed the first three drives was three and outs. The second drive, they allowed them to get to the 49-yard line. And then turnover on downs. And then the last drive, Josh Jacobs just played his ass off for the Raiders and got him down there so that he, he could throw that touchdown pass. Uh, Jacobs is over half of the team's offensive yardage, I think, right now. I talked about that earlier, Dion, about how not only are the Colts a second-half team, but the Raiders have given up, I think it's three games, where they were leading by 17. They gave up three games where they gave up 17-point leads only to lose. But all in all, I think the Colts are playing a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Uh, we're actually running the football. Jonathan Taylor's getting over four yards to carry. Not where we, not where he needs to be at yet, but close, close. Been a couple times where I felt like he could have got, um, broke one, right? But there were also a couple times where should have been short and was able to get out there. Colts have the ball as the kickoff to the second half goes out the back of the end zone. <sighs> Colts start second half with the ball up 13 to 7. Yes. All right. Yep. Communication has been excellent. Jeff Saturday's letting the guys do what they need to do on the defensive side. And <clears throat> the defensive side is showing steady improvement. So let's keep that. All right. Going. 
split receivers, handoff, running back, Jonathan Taylor. Oh. Picks up five yards as he runs off the right side of the field. Be second down and five upcoming. All right, let's go. Let's keep this drive all the way to the end zone. Taylor split wide left. Empty backfield, three receivers to his left. Ball's hiked. Quick pass. Paris right before the first down marker. It'll be five yards, but he'll be short by inches. Yeah. About a foot. Be third down and one. All right, let's go. Let's go, Maddie. Do you take your shot here? Um, third and one, no. I get the first down. I understand that, but if it's there, take it. Because they're going to be worried about taking taking care of that short yardage crap. It's a handoff. And Jonathan Taylor carries two guys for three yards and a first down right up the gut. <laughs> Fries is coming in with a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> Look at that. All right, I need to throw this away. All right, bud. No, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for this next play. Okay, first and 10. Actually, I'll just set this off to the side to let it sticky up my table. I can clean it later. <laughs> All right, hand off Jonathan Taylor off tackle. Another five-yard run. Before he finally gets stood up, maybe second and five upcoming. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> If you give me five yards, <coughs> excuse me. If you give me five yards on every first down play, I will take that, and this offense will be almost impossible to stop. Right. All right. Okay, let's go. Second down and five upcoming. Shotgun split receivers takes a snap. Steps Ooh. up, throws. He gets hits as he throws it, but it's a completion of Michael Pittman Jr. all the way down to the 40-yard 40, 40 line. He That's the first hit that Matt Ryan has taken all game. Yeah, Fry's, Fry's got beat on that one pretty handily, but wow, Matty just threw a rope to MPJ right there. Yeah, Fry's got beat bad. Oh, he didn't get a hit. Okay. He, he looked like he, but oh, he yeah, I thought ball. he got hit, but he came off of it. Yeah, yeah. good. It still would have been considered a hit. I mean. Great, great play. First and 10 at the 40, takes a snap, steps up into the pocket. Nice play right there. And that's a catch by Michael Pittman for seven yards. It'll be second down and three at the 33-yard line. And I love the way they're mixing it up. First down, you don't know if it's a run play or a pass play. And oh. Braden Smith is down with an injury. That is not something we need to see. Because, guys... The only two tackles we have available right now is Dennis Kelly and Matt Pryor. Yeah. Yeah. And neither one of those guys have played at all worth a damn all year. Oh, I think Dennis Kelly's played a lot better than Pryor. I would put Kelly in in an instant, but definitely, yeah. Uh, well, it, it, to be fair, kind of Dennis Kelly's natural position is right tackle. Yeah. So yeah. he'll probably play better at right tackle than left tackle. And, and, and like I said, it, it just really stinks because our offensive line finally started putting together a first half of, uh, you know, all right, here we go. Here we go. You know, we're, we got this plane solid now. So hopefully we don't experience a drop off, you know, mm -hmm. and I hope for Braden's sake, hope you get you hope you're back in the game. My guy, I hope everything goes smooth and fast. Yep. All right, guys, there's 112 of you and you appreciate each and every one of you being in here. Uh, we're on a break right now, an injury timeout as Braden Smith is being yeah. looked at. Pete Reg, you're right. Braden has been pretty healthy all year. You know what I mean? He started off a little banged up there in week mm -hmm. two, I think it was. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he had that ankle injury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot better than last year, though. Last year, it was – Yeah. It was – it felt like three-quarters of the year he was struggling with injuries. I agree, sir. How about – Hopefully, this is a short, quick turnaround just – how about we put Matt Pryor and Dennis Kelly, you tape them up together so it looks like one guy. 
<laughs> That's one very large. <laughs> <laughs> little little di little discrepancy in in the the flow of the skin color. You know, like, <laughs> it's all they all bleed blue. That's all that matters. What are you talking about? The NFL is colorblind now. There Come on go. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I knew I'd be colorblind. I was gonna say, I knew I've been hearing that wrong because I keep every time mm -hmm. I hear that I keep hearing the officials are blind. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's something else. That, you know, I mean, this officiating hasn't been. You know, it, arguably, it may have been one of the top two or three games officiated for us this season. You know, not a lot of horrible calls, and and the one the calls that have made, they've been pretty spot on. So, just an all around great day of football. Josh, I would I would say that as well. Whoever it is that goes out there, get yourself make sure you have a tight end help with him mm. at all times. At all times. Smith okay, is standing around. Point. That's good. His helmet's on. It looks like he'll probably come back in the game. He's not even in the tent. That is Matt Pryor they out did there. Pick Pryor. God. He does have help. And Jonathan Taylor busts a 10 yard run right up the gut. Mo Alley Cox stayed in to help prior on that end, and they did a good job holding that off. That was Wilkins. Yeah, that was Wilkins. Heck yeah. <laughs> and they went right to that right side. I mean, yep. all right. Because they both just crashed down real nicely. There. That was a nice, nice play right there for a first down run. Good job, oh, Matt Pryor. Good job, Matt Pryor. Now do me a favor. Go back to the sideline. <laughs> Nope, he's still no. Nope, yeah, he's he's done. He's out. No, that's Smith. Brady yeah, Smith. I know. As I say, he's he's done. He's, oh, okay. Matt okay. Pryor is out. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Smith is back in, so that's good to see. Uh, is Jonathan Taylor done for the day? Oh, may just I don't maybe, know. Maybe. maybe maybe he reached his limit of carries today because Jordan Wilkins is in on this drive. He's got two carries, thirteen yards so far after that five yard run. Yeah, he's still there. Second down and five upcoming. Taylor still has his helmet on, so that's a good sign. Stacked receivers on the left, takes the handoff. That's another run, and he slips one tackle, picks up about four yards as he runs over Michael Pittman Jr. It'll be third down and one upcoming. Third and a long one, short two. JT's, oh, like, JT's coming back in. He's like, good job, man. Good job. I got this, my guy. <laughs> yeah, not that, not that I have seen. No. And Wilkins uh, – oh, go ahead. I was just saying uh, – oh, no, 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 no. He's here. Here we go. Yeah. Wilkins looking serviceable. He absolutely is. Yeah, and he always has. Every time you call this kid's number, he – he almost every time he, he shows up. All right. Oh, nice. 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 Hot oh. block, but now Ryan goes down for a, like a – oh, my goodness. What is that, a 15, 20-yard sack by Max Crosby? Mm. We had a good chop block at first, and then now we got fourth in a million miles. That was too much for Ryman. No, that wasn't Ryman. That was a good chop block by Jonathan yeah. Taylor. Okay, but, there, but that, Crosby got up really yeah. fast. It was 55 that just blew by Ryman. I was yeah. going to say, I thought it was Ryman, and then, all right. Oh, we're going for a field goal here down the le uh, yeah, left hash. Falls down, and it, it bounces off the upright. God bless it. God. No points. Man. What is up with his kicks? Just freaking off his foot. It looks good, and everything's just hard to the right afterwards. First All sack right. of the day put up by the Indianapolis Colts. All right, defense. What are you going to do for us? In Matt Ryan's defense, after he saw Crosby getting up and chasing him, he tried to roll out to throw the football. But when he tried to roll out away from Crosby, the other guy was there. Right? Because you got to get outside the tackles to throw the football away. Otherwise, it's intentional grounding. So, at that point, between Crosby getting up off the ground as quick as he did, and then the guy that Ryman uh, was that Chandler Jones, uh, 55, yeah, 
that came in on the other other side, they had him sandwiched in. There was nowhere that, that Matt could go. And you can't just throw the football away, like I said, until you get outside the tackles. So, Yeah, I tell you now, once, once that chop block's made, Matty's got to either get rid of her to get the heck out of Dodge because Max Crosby, even though, like you said, it was a good chop block and got him down to the ground. <laughs> you also look at people saying that Grants, like Alonzo saying Granson's open. You know, it also depends upon where was his, you know, where eyes. was he looking on the field, right? Yeah. yeah. Where so, was his eyes at the point in time whenever that happened? <laughs> but that was either way, either that's way. A, yeah, that's a good that's, all 22 one. That, that's one that you sit there and just wait to see on the all 22. Yeah. I'll have to look at that. I'll have to break that down on the film. Either way, man, I'll tell you what, we went over an entire half a game before Matt Ryan uh, took a sack. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's, yeah. that's pretty Ryan, good. Right. Well, you're right. We needed that three. I mean, needed to get back to uh, more than a score. And we just, that one, that one stings. That one stings. So now we got our defenses, our defense is hung tough all year. So now it's time to just continue that, that narrative. Let's keep this, uh, Defensive pressure going. I'd like to get a couple more sacks on this young Derek Carr. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hit, hit or two on him, and he, he starts playing a lot differently than he did, you know, the first week or first half. So we'll see. We'll see how this ends up turning out. I'm I am not going to blame the Colts offense, anyone on that offense on that on that play. It was a good hell of a play by Max Crosby. And like I said, first sack of the day, two and a half, two and a half quarters in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Offset eye, hands the football off, and Jacobs just dragging Kenny Moore hmm. for about eight. Okay, come on, guys. Oh, no, it was six. Okay, not eight. Quiddy yeah, Pay is out of the game with with an ankle injury. Yeah, he was he was real banged up coming in. Yep. Come on, guys. All right, offset eye formation. They're running a lot of offset eyes, running it out of that formation quite a bit. Speaking of running it out, Grover. Oh, picks up another six yards on the carry. Josh Look. Jacobs is being that dude. Looked like Grover was about to eat, and all of a sudden, Jacobs just found another gear and took off. <laughs> yep. But Jacobs does have that extra gear. So. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's get some momentum going back in our way, defense. We need you. We need you here, defense. Come on. All right. Come on. Let me see the field here. All right. Shotgun, split receivers, stacked on the left side, running back to the right. Takes a snap, quick three-step drop, stands there, bouncing, bouncing, throws, good, easy pass. Go, oh, what a spin move by Devontae Adams to get out of the tackle, but still tackled just shy of the first down. It'll be second down and one upcoming. There's just too much time. Look at this, just too much time. I really thought, I really did think our front four was going to get a little bit more pressure than this. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, I know, because our front four has played really good all year. Under center is Derek Carr. Offset eye formation again. That's another handoff again. Another first down after a pickup of about a yard and a half again. Do me a favor, Zaire. Save some of that energy. Less talk and more walking these guys backwards like you guys did in the first half. Come on. Congratulations, Mraz. Appreciate you. Uh, good luck with that. Let us know what game it is. When, when it's selected. Jacobs still has 65 yards. Taylor has 67 rushing. Empty backfield. Three receivers to the right. Shotgun. Derek Carr sitting at the 39 yard Colts 39 yard line takes a snap steps back has all day to throw all day to hike it too good god 
12 yard pickup. Devontae Adams really doing a good job right here. Tackle by Rodney McLeod. Come on, defense. What is this? <sighs> All right. Another offset eye formation. Oh, wow. Look at this front four lineup. You got Odangbo. You have Odenigbo. It's all our backups. <laughs> and our backups really came in there. Three different guys got in the backfield. Grover Stewart, first one there. Two-yard tackle for loss. You Good had, job. You had uh, – oh, no, yeah. What's his name? I always give him a hard time now. 52. Anyhow. <laughs> Benogu. Yeah, Benogu. That's right. Ben Benogu. You had ben him Benogu, out there. You had, yeah, you had Colbert, and then you turn around and had uh, Dio in there. Wow. Yep. Second the down second down and 12. Shotgun. Stacked to the left. Takes a snap. Steps back. Got a little bit of room. Tack on. Tack on. There you go. There Good you go. job. Oh, and a flag. Yep, there's a flag on the field. I think it's probably going to be holding though. On Dio uh, against Dio or from. I think I think it'll, it looks like holding to me. That was actually pretty good. Nope, illegal block in the back, pass interference. Yeah, ah, hands to the face, Dio Dangbo. Dio's like what? Look, he had me. It's bullshit, ref. <laughs> He's right. He's got his hands on the shoulder pad, just pushing it up. That's uh, an automatic first down. Come on, Colts. Mm. First down and 10. That's oh, a 25-yard line. Right wing formation, single setback, man in motion. That's a handoff to the receiver, and he gets the edge. And dives forward. There's another flag on the play after a pick of about eight. I think this might be a holding call. This one might be coming back. <clears throat> I knew I spoke too soon on it. These officials. To be fair, the Raiders have been called for a lot of penalties. Tripping. The Raiders have been called for a lot of penalties in this game. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Okay. First down and 20. Right there. Leg up. Trips yeah. in. Yeah. It was unintentional, but <laughs> it was still tripping. Well, tripping has to be intentional. That's the thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's got to extend that leg and stuff. But hey, they owed us one for the missed call last time. So stack receivers to the left, running back to the right. Takes a snap. Get in there, Dio. Forrest Buckner gets a little bit of pressure. Incomplete. Nice incomplete pass to the running back, Josh Jacobs. Second down and 20 upcoming. Now, release the hounds. Let's get some. Get in this quarterback's face. Come on. Watch for the screen pass, though. Watch for the screen, guys. All right, under center. Come on, defense. Split receiver, single setback. Takes a snap. Steps up, quick pass over. Oh, my goodness, he was wide open. Picks up 18. Third down and two upcoming. And Moreau's hurt. He's wincing. Yeah, they're going to, they just called him for concussion. Yep, Ooh. his helmet Ooh. hit the ground. Yep. Yeah. yep, his helmet hit the ground. Moreau is now in concussion protocol. Well, maybe he's going to be yeah. checked for it. Yeah. But, I mean, you could see he was, you know, doing all kinds of stuff with his eyes and stuff. He was definitely woozy. 
Yeah, we need this defense to step up. Now, big. if I remember right, if you're woozy, you're in concussion protocol automatically now. Uh, Three receivers to the right, running back to the right, in shotgun, takes a snap. Colts in Rock a massive blitz. blitz. God, and, that was too easy. And there was no one there to cover the running back who picks up not only a first down, but almost to the end zone. It'll be first and goal at about the three-yard line. They were ready for that blitz. Yes, sir. That was exactly the play. Good tackle by Kenny Moore, though. Come on, defense. Keep him out of the end zone. Something. Jeez. Offset eye. Off, yeah, offset eye formation. At the three, as I said, takes a snap. Hand off to Josh. He's going to just power his way forward. I think he might have got there. Or, nope, he's shy. He's shy by about a foot and a half. Second and goal at the foot and a half yard line. Come on, guys. I am finding it very surprising that this offensive line is controlling our defensive front four right now. I just think that is wild. I mean, these guys are not that good. Josh Jacobs is just good. Though. Yeah, I'm talking about the line, though. I mean, it's yeah. just. Offset eye formation again. Takes a snap, handoff, and same he just play. plows through. Same exact play. All day long. Touchdown. All day long. Same play. Ah! By the saying a daggone drinking game. Every time Lawrence says offset eye, you got to drink. Right. This, this would be terrible. Look at this, though, man. They are just blowing them back. That's, I think that's the third run in a row that was exactly the same one. Well. Here comes the extra point to, for the Raiders to take the lead. It's up and good, and the Raiders are winning 14-13. to 13. All right, guys. Come on now, daggone it. Offense. Yeah, the offense has to get a sustainable drag because that defense is exhausted right now. We legitimately should be up 23 to 7 right now. Legitimately. Hmm. This is some BS. Wow, that was a very late flag. I didn't even notice there was a flag on the field. Looks like they're telling them it's going to be assessed afterwards. Yeah. Kick is good. Personal foul. Kicking team. Well, Isaiah Rogers Sr. is going to get his chance to right. make something happen now. <laughs> Chuck Millsap. Colts motto. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, or shoulda, woulda, coulda, or whatever. <laughs> All right. So now we've just got to get a decent return, hold on to the ball, and let's drive this thing a little while. It's only a point, guys. Come on. Ryan says a fumble, a sack, and a missed field goal. I will say... One sack for the game so far. If this game ends up with one sack after the shit show we saw all year, yeah. I'll be good with that crap. Yeah, ask Max Crosby if he ends up with just getting one sack at the end of the game. How do you feel you you performed? Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a, a positive interview. <laughs> but we still got, you know, Better than a quarter left. The Colts need to do something on offense here. I feel like uh, uh, the momentum has shifted to the Raiders, uh, where it was with the Colts the entire first half. Uh, the second half has definitely shifted over towards the Raiders. Uh, the defense for the Colts just looks like they cannot stop. You know, I mean, the, the Raiders, it's not like the Raiders are getting big ass running yards. Yeah. They're just, they're picking up three, four yards a carry, five yards a carry, you know, here and there, and just chipping it. 
And the problem is we're not getting any pressure on the edge on pass rush. And Derek Carr has all day to sit back there and throw the football. The one time we did send a blitz made us pay big time. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. But like, like you said, there's plenty of time here. And the thing is, is this offense get, get a decent sustainable drive. Let Gus Bradley and that, that defensive group get together and, and talk about, you know, what they're seeing, what they're feeling and stuff. And, we know these guys have come back. These guys have, you know, they've been the rock of this team. I mean, what, uh, the Jaguars game? You know, maybe that, uh, the, you know, outside of that. All right. I mean, the Colts have done a good job moving the ball on offense and keeping our defense off the field, giving them breaks. Mm-hmm. That's At least that's positive. Yep. Yeah, just, and like I said, I, I can't wait to see what Isaiah Rogers Sr. does here now. From the 20... He's going to let the ball bounce. He picks it up at the 10-yard line, gets to the 20, the 25, and you couldn't wait to see him get to the 29-yard line. Yeah. That ball bounced 10 yards in front of it. <laughs> yeah, in he had. I don't know. Is the wind strong there or something? Maybe he was having try, trouble picking the ball up or something. I don't know. That was uh... – all right. Let's go, Matty Ice. You're used to being down, my guy. Come on now. One point's got to feel like you're you got the lead, right? Only being down one, so let's with, get us in yeah, scoring range. With, with sixteen, <laughs> with over, with almost seventeen minutes left to play. Yep. Colts now have two hundred and fifty total yards to the Raiders one hundred and eighty nine. We got a right wing formation, single setback, takes a snap. Jonathan Taylor makes a couple guys miss, picks up four on the run. Second and six upcoming. Now the Colts need to do what the Raiders did. Just yes, kick sir. The all the way down the field. Smash it down their throats the whole time. And when it when it when it's available, hit your receivers, but just just keep smashing it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, uh, this is Vegas. They don't need to be sitting out there in 120 degree heat. Hand off Jonathan. Take Go on. Go on. Get out of here. 50, 45, get out 40, of here. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Yeah. Guy yeah. Taylor, first time all year. He actually, he was like, go on, baby. He saw the space. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. Feed Jonathan. All we need is that one look, and that's all he needed. And he was gone. 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 And, and yeah, you see that? He wants Good to go ball. for two. He's Absolutely. going for two. That has been overdue all year. That's the first time we've seen one of those, and he was gone 67 yards for a touchdown. Not even touched. Not even touched. That Nine was touch. Up. 67 yards, walk-off touchdown. Wow. Man, the Colts are going to go for two, and they need to. That way they'll be up by uh, a full, full seven here. Come on, guys. There's Shotgun something. running back to the left. Uh, three receivers to the right. Hit him, JT. JT hit him too. Oh, late, he man. threw it behind him. Behind him. No good. Spot way too late. That was. Yeah. He went through his progressions. I will say that. He, You saw his head go bam, 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 and then turn to Jonathan Taylor. And by then it was too late to throw. Mm-hmm. And he had to throw it out that far. Otherwise, it was going to be intercepted. Because that corner was coming in hard. <clears throat> now this this does bring up a concern for me, okay? And we were just talking about it. That defense was just on the field, and that was a physical drive that they had to go through. I mean, I'm thrilled. JT scored outstanding. But now, guys, got to get you know get back out on that field in the hurry. And, and the thing is, is they gotta they gotta find that dig deep and find that 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 whatever it was that was working for him in the first half. And let's put this thing together and get them off the field again and let our offense give you an opportunity because, hey, two really long plays by JT for touchdowns, that's just as much break as they'll need. <laughs> yep. So. Absolutely. So this is this is good. Jonathan Taylor finally over 100 yards rushing since week one. Yep. Now just help, defense, let the offense help you by you helping yourself. Come on. 
Let's get a three and out. We ain't seen one of those this half. Come on. Absolutely. All right, let's take a look. As Jonathan Taylor now has 18 carries, 137 yards, 7.6 yards a carry, and a touchdown. That's what you get. <laughs> Matt Ryan, 17. Matt Ryan's only missed four passes the entire game. Four passes, 175 that, yards. That last one hurt. <laughs> that last one for two. I, was, I seen that. I was like, oh, hit him, hit him. Oh, and then it was behind him. It was too late. I mean, he, had, he, he was going through. You could see him. You watched his helmet go through his progressions. And then by the time he saw him, as he was throwing it, you could see the cornerback was coming in hard. I think he was just trying to just throw it away. Mm. Uh, because had that been an interception, it would have been two points for the other team. You, you, know? Know what I, you know what I'm wondering is, do we see a little bit more uh, uh, EJ speed here? Because he's always helped spark that run, Dave. And, that, and that's where they're really banging our – you know, the body blows are right now. You know, if we can limit <laughs> – Limit some of those body blows and then and then get some pressure when you got third and long. Get some daggone pressure on this guy. I mean, he's had we all need, day, all day play, to throw in these situations. Play play man with a safety over the top of Adams. That's what I would do. Play man coverage with a safety over Adams to give help, you know, in case mm -hmm. that because you we all know Adams can go deep. Uh, but outside of that, I think I think the Colts. I'll take the Colts secondary over this receiving core all day. Yeah. Thing is, is it seems like a lot of times whenever Adams is making plays. Oh, he fumbles the football at the five, picks it back yeah. up. Get him. Get him. To the 20, breaks it. Get down. him. Oh, my God. He fumbles the football, still gets his way all the way to the 39-yard line. Horrible tackling. Horrible tackling by special teams. Special teams look good pretty much all day. And then this shit. He drops the ball at the five, picks it back up at the eight, and then takes off. And there's one, two, and then no one. It was it was like the Red Sea after the second guy missed, and he was able to pick up another 20 yards. Oh, my goodness. All the way to the 38-yard line. Hey, guess what? Offset eye. No, no. This is a weird-ass eye formation. Hand off to the running back, and he's there hitting you go. The, There you go, hit. Bobby O. Bobby O tackles him, gain a two. That's what we're gain of two. Right we're looking at second and eight upcoming. Fill that gap as soon as you can and be strong at it. They're at their own 40, though. They are already in good field position. And oh no. Hmm. Um we should have a play by now. Is there an injury on the field? I don't. I mean, I see. I see. Camera, you have camera. Cameraman's infatuated with Saturday right now. Yes, I know. Sire, Sire Franklin came off the field. He's going into the tent. <sighs> uh oh, that's not how I wanted to see more EJ speed, guys. God, <laughs> God, God bless Zaire. Hope you're okay. Under center, spread formation, single setback. Come on, Grove. Get in they bring, there. They bring the tight end a little close. Takes a snap. Fakes the handoff. Yannick mm. got in there. Get him. Get him. Quick pass. And we got a flag holding, on the play. Holding. That's got to yeah, be holding. That's got to be holding. At that, at, at, that, at that zone of the screen, I feel like that's got to be holding. Oh, ineligible. Nope. Okay. Ineligible man down. I'll take that, too. I'll take that, too. I knew something wasn't right because as soon as the pass was caught, the flag went up, mm -hmm. you know, and there was no, no defender around him. So, you know, it wasn't like pass interference or holding or some defensive holding. So, uh, ineligible man downfield for the offense. Second and 12. Come on guys. Got him behind the chains. Let's keep him like that. Five yard Come loss. Defense. Let's get a stop D. Absolutely. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Hope you're all having a good time. If you have, do us a favor. 
think about maybe uh, subscribing to us. And if you do, make sure you ring that bell. That way you're notified next time that we go live. We do these anywhere from two to th four times a week. You know, plus we, you know, we've got a lot of video records. You know, Lawrence is on with uh, Believe in Colts. Get to hear from Rodney McLeod and former uh, cornerback J Gerard Powers. So give it a follow, guys. Check it out. <clears throat> yeah, it, it is nice to have Gerard as a former Colt and, of course, Rodney McLeod, the current mm -hmm starting safety for the Colts on my on my podcast every week it's it's pretty fun to be able to ask him questions and this Tuesday I'll have a supposed to have a nice nice guest so you guys definitely want to uh subscribe hit the notification bell that sounds like a good day Odin unless your scoring system's all out of whack he says he's got 300 points on his fantasy team he must have JT on there <laughs> Yeah. Well, he did say that um, the, the Colts defense got him some points earlier, like oh. six and a half in the first half. Right on. Appreciate you, Texan football fan. Man, let's go, guys. This is this is your opportunity right here. You've had now, you know, uh, seen some of Who wouldn't? Yeah. Yeah, they, they've been double teaming them. Every once in a while, they'll chip them with a third guy and stuff. But the thing is, is Defoe knows that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's harder to double team them because of Grover and how well he's been playing. But I still feel like these guys, I really thought they would be more impactful on that interior. I really, truly did. And and not to say that they've not had a good game, but it's just not been what I was hoping to see. But now, all that matters is we got to keep harnessing Jacobs, let's not let them hurt us up the gut. Let's let's next time they go into that offset eye, let's put let's dot that eye for them and, and uh, get this thing going the right way again. Absolutely. Thanks for the subscription, Jerry Colt. Appreciate you, guys. If you want to donate, you want to help um, support the channel, we'd appreciate it. Any any monetary donations, you can use the link in the description right here, and uh, it's just like a super chat, we, we appreciate go. it. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to change that. Sorry. Get down that right now. So far, I'm really happy with what Jeff Saturday has actually shown today as a coach. Stack receivers to the left. Shotgun takes a snap. Under a little bit of pressure, but dumps it off to Josh Jacobs. He's going to pick up five before he okay. is met by one, two, three, four, five Colts. <laughs> and he got met that quick by that many in that order. <laughs> third and seven. Third and seven. Now, come on, guys. Let's put some heat in this kid's face. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's where Zaire. Yeah, he got cremated. You know what? I think, uh, but if you look, he looked like he was back on his heels a bit. So he, yeah, he's fine. He's got his helmet back on. I was going to say, I felt like that wasn't as bad as it looked on the end results. So he's on the sideline without his helmet on and the defense is out. No, he's there, got so. his head. Yeah. 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 But it's the, yeah. But, like yeah. Shotgun through receivers to the left, running back to the right, takes a snap, steps back, has time, throws. What a great, play great by play. Dan Rogers on on uh Adams to break up that pass on third and seven. Oh he nice. broke on he should have picked that off. Oh wow. I'll tell he you right now. He should have took that to the house. That was awesome because you sat there and watched Adams like he was gonna take back off and it was like okay he didn't do what he wanted him to so he just turned it turned it back upfield and Isaiah had enough speed to get there. That's outstanding yep. defense. Colts forcing the punt at the 40-yard line. 14 minutes, 9 seconds left in the game. There's a snap. The punt is up. Deep. Kuti waves it off. And wow. it'll be at the 4-yard line. Yeah, but that was, that was well covered. That was well covered. Yep. All right. That was a good job by the special teams for uh, Vegas. Very good job. All right, JT. Get us out of this hole that we're in, my guy. Get us a first down here. Good job. Good job. Good. It, it good should play. be at the four. That's where he first touched it. Yeah. So, yep. I agree, Sierra Lee. Great punt. Great coverage. That was. Uh... Let's see a 96-yard run. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather choose some of that clock off myself. <laughs> 
If you can put seven points on the board, let's put seven points on the board. I, I hear you, my guy. But like I said, I think our defense be like, please, guys, just make it three plays. You don't think that three would fire the? Drive. You don't think a ninety-six yard run would fire the freaking defense up? Yes, sir. I, I do. mean, come on. <laughs> and they better get three and out because by the end of that first drive, first series of plays, that excitement's going to turn into oh yeah, I remember this wall <laughs> single setback. Uh, big formation handoff. Jonathan Taylor hits the yeah. hits the line. That goes nowhere, nowhere. Okay, which everybody knew that that was what was going to happen. That's a big boy there. <laughs> Why do they keep showing this over and over and over? Right there is where it should be down at the four. Oh, because they put it down at the five. It should be at the four though. Mm. But they have it at the five. That is a bad spot. Second down. Oh, no. They're saying they, yeah. They are, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three receivers to the left, running back to the right. Takes that. Pat, oh, Paris Campbell. No, that's an incomplete pass. They blew the whistle. <laughs> Nelson was ready to hit everybody yes, and their was. mother. And I like how the one guy waits till Nelson turns his back and then he throws an elbow in him. Yeah, that's how I they do waited, that. Too. They <laughs> waited till Nelson picked the ball up and started running people over before the refs was like, no, nah, this this is an incomplete pass. They got a quick try. You cannot make that, pa that pass screen there with Mo Alley being the blocker because he has blown up those. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. That, that, that safety that hit Big Q and Big Q just lowered his shoulder. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Incomplete pass, and that's it for the – what? Ran what happened? Ball timeout? The what? Like no. The... No, the play clock ran to zero. Yeah, the Raiders Ray... did call timeout, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, oh. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> 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 He was. He's ready to run everybody over. Everybody. He didn't care. All you right? think you think if JT's a body blow, I'm what you call a body cast. I'm gonna sit here. I think I think it was ran all the way down because they didn't have enough personnel down there and they had to call timeout. I think that's the situation that happened. Yeah, Shrelis just said that as well. Yeah, they had to. Which is funny. Why didn't Matt Ryan just snapped the damn ball real fast. Get us, get us a first down. Come on, get us. All a right, first down. split receivers. No, nope. oh, we're just going to hand the football off. Yeah, play it safe, I guess. I mean, I, I don't like it. that. I don't, I don't either. I hate it, but you know, I ain't going to second guess them. I mean, you're inside your five. Give your punter a little bit of room to Matt Hawk, my guy. It's been a while since we sat there and watched you put an eighty yarder on him. We could use one right now, really, in the worst kind of way. Yeah, I don't like running the football off tackle there. I don't either. I'm just like I said, though, you know, you, you're sort of. Uh, I would have, I would have rather ran a running back screen or something of that nature. Hawk in the back of his own end zone takes a snap, punt. It gets up. How good of a punt! That's a bad oh, punt. Terrible fair punt. catch. Fair catch at the 48 yard line. Terrible punt. They're already almost within field goal range. Colts up by five. Twelve and a mm -hmm. half minutes left mm -hmm. in the game. I do not like where this drive is starting. 40-yard punt. A 40-yard punt. Airtime, 40 yards. 16 of 23 for only a buck 36. I mean, that's, you know... I would take those numbers with Derek Carr. Now, let's see if we can get a T.O. You know, let's get a turnover on him. That's the thing I want to see. Yeah, because we don't technically have a turnover yet on defense. We have a turnover on downs, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 12.30. So that means the defense has had a little bit of time to catch their breath, but not much. But the thing is, is. With all the TV timeouts and stuff, that that should be they should be all right as far as that goes, as long as they can get off the field quickly. All right, Josh McDaniels calling in the play call right now, and then they go to a commercial. Yeah, right. I'm still, 
I'm still a little upset that uh, they waited until Nelson picked the football up, ran through two tackles before blowing the whistle to say, Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 that was an incomplete pass. Normally, they let that shit play out. Well, why didn't you let it play out? Was it because some big freaking, you know, moving van had the football? Huh? That's exactly. He's going to hurt somebody. We got to blow the whistle. (laughs) Dear Lee. I, I pull this up here real quick. All right, that's not the one I was trying. Let's try this again. Seriously, he had last week he punted good. The week before yeah. that was not good, and then this week has not been the best. And and it's I think, been average overall. Uh, he did have one bad punt though. I think DJ speaking on all our, our behalf. Come on, guys, let's get another stop. <laughs> Absolutely, right. we got to. We needs to. We has to. It's important mm. for everybody. Colts fans, Colts Nation. Does anyone in here know anyone that's in Vegas right now watching this game? Like Colts fans wise? Mm. Did anyone travel to Vegas? Now I know a guy who's a Colts fan that lives in Vegas. Mm-hmm. You know, but I don't know anyone that traveled to Vegas to, to, to see the game. There was somebody in the chat that said that they were going to Vegas on uh Friday show. I think last I knew Quiddy pay was out for the game. Yeah. Quiddy pay went out uh late second quarter. I think it was, mm-hmm. and he was limited on the snaps already too. Dio Dangbo has been getting a lot of that work today. A lot of that. <clears throat> man, come on defense. Just keep us in this thing. Like you always have. <laughs> Video boss. He says, put Quentin Nelson in at running back right now. Only if you want to see 34 injuries in a game on both sides of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Raiders currently have 197 total offensive yards, 127 yards passing, 70 yards rushing. That's it. Hmm. He's doing a good job. The Colts have 324 yards offense, 163 rushing, 161. Passing, I would say that's a pretty even shot right there. Uh, just my oh, look, look how loaded uh, this box is. Oh, surprise! Offset eye formation, <laughs> fakes the handoff. Has got all oh, day. He's just get standing him. there, throws it downtown. Catch that! Oh Please. my goodness! Please, Please he man. gave you the opportunity. Oh my goodness! <sighs> oh my. Goodness. Goodness, they tried to hit Adams deep. He was double covered. Safety over the top. Look at that. Oh. Good job right there. By Stefan Gilmore knocking that bad boy out. Yeah. And then Rodney tried like hell to dive to catch that, but couldn't get it. Right. Rodney and Kenny Moore both were like, I got it. No, I don't. Under center, takes a snap, handoff to the running back, and he is hit behind the line for a loss of one. It'll be third down and 11 upcoming. That was great. Great pressure by the front four. Great pressure. Good job, guys. I mean, he had to make two moves just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Why do I got to bust Rodney's balls on Monday for that? I mean, what what am I supposed to say? Hey, you got to be able to dive another two yards. I mean, (laughs) come on now. You know, and 31 year old legs got to be able to dive long further than that, huh? <laughs> Come on, defense. Get off the field right here. Right Third now. down to 10 at the 48 yard line. Shotgun split receivers takes a snap, steps back. Oh. Pressure by Buckner. <sighs> Touchdown. He hit Devontae Adams on a crosser and he was gone. And he was gone. How many times do we sit there and we get pressure and move these guys out of the pocket just just to sit there and watch them get beat in the secondary? Gosh! I mean... You can't cover all day. And let's just count how many seconds. Blackman's the final line of defense. He knows he can't let that happen. Five seconds. Five seconds. Blackman was the one covering him. That's why I said he can't let that, you know, 
He's the final line of defense. He's got to be there. Derek Carr stood back there for five freaking seconds. Raiders going for two here to make it a field goal game. It takes a snap, quick throw over to center, and that's incomplete. Okay. And the Raiders are only up by one point. All right, oh, we need it. We need seven right here. You cannot sit here and give any quarterback in the NFL five freaking seconds to throw that football. There's no defense that can cover for five seconds. None. Right? That, that's just ridiculous. And then, you know, after that situation, he just he found a lane and went with it. You know? Mm. All right, guys. Come on now. I want to scroll up here. He, I, I agree, video boss. Adams is an elite receiver. We know this. But let's let's fair. Our, our our pass rush has not been here today. They have been very lackluster today. Now, granted, two of our best pass rushers are out. Quiddy Pay, and then of course Tyquan Lewis is gone. You know for the season. So that's not a good situation. And I, yes, I do believe that both those guys are two of our two of the four of our best pass rushers. Right. DeForest Buckner has been double and triple teamed all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a little crosser too, and that and that's who got in there. You know, DeForest was like, in, you know, pressure was coming up on that left center because they crossed over and stuff, and and. Uh, Grover where's, laid up all those blocks. Where's unique today? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you. I honestly was hoping to see more just because, you know, this was the team that let him go, deliver a message to him, you know, and say, yeah, this is a Krupp or a Culp. You say, what, we need to start blitzing uh, David Carr. That would do us no good because Derek is the one on the field. <laughs> I don't know where David's at unless he's. Yeah, but Derek, Derek is also good at reading a blitz and dumping it. Yeah, you the know. one, the one, one time we did blitz, you know, he, he they owned us on it, you know, because that wasn't that the one where we went to Jacobs for a big game, big game, yeah. So we're in it, guys. We're only down one. This is, I mean, Matt Ryan. I don't know if he would know what to do if we had a lead in the fourth quarter. So now he knows what to do when we don't have one. So let's get this thing in for six, and then go for two. Colts mm. defense has been absolutely outstanding this year. Man. That's the biggest play of the day for them, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. JT's got it ready to go. All right. We Let's can't have a three and out, guys. We got to yeah. get down there and get some points. All right. And the Colts will take over at the 25-yard line. 11 minutes and 36 seconds left. Come on. Easy baby. Actually, we were four and a half point underdogs walking into this game. Yep. Yep. And you sit there and you, you know, I know we really haven't talked about a whole lot, but Shaq is now on IR. You know, that that's something that we've dealt with all year. But I'm just saying, you know, both teams are depleted by this point in time. The thing is, is, you have to beat the team that's in front of you, and that that's the key. All right. Shotgun. Takes the hand up. Rolls out to the right. Quick throw. And that's Pittman for five. Or are they going to call yeah. it? No. It's got to be five. I was going to say, <laughs> or seven. <laughs> that was a good grab, tackle, and yank out of bounds by Rocky Sin. And looks like the Cowboys just uh, took the lead. Over Green Bay, 21 to 14. Yep, and they split the difference. And they went for uh, six. <laughs> uh, bunch formation to the left. Under center, single setback. At the 30-yard line, handoff. Jonathan Taylor, we got a flag. That's probably holding. No, it looked like the defense jumped off sides. Or there we, off we got we got, we got a one yard on the run right there. Mm -hmm. I think this is on the D. Yep, yep. encroachment. That's a, free, that's a free five yards. 
And depending upon where that spot was, first down. Yeah, they said it was second. <coughs> said it was second and four, so it should be a first down. All right, let's go. John Davis, I have to agree with you. I think Jeff Saturday is doing pretty good for his first coaching job. Yep. And this guy here, Park Frazier, has has had a very, very consistent game plan today. And I love three, the first three receivers to the left. Shotgun takes a snap, steps back. He's gonna go for it all. Oh. Nope. He just threw a 50-50 ball up to Pierce, and Pierce wasn't unable was unable to get it. So second down and ten upcoming. Mm. Man, I was getting ready to say, I really like what the Colts have been doing on first down. Park Frazier's been dialing up a lot of good first down play calls. And I'm not even disappointed in that one. Just didn't make nope. the catch. Yep. Take a snap. Here comes the blitz. Quick pass. Caught. Pick up about five. That's Paris. Yep. Third and five upcoming. All right, guys. Keep this drive going. Do not do not put your coach in a position where he's forced to make a call he don't want to make. Come on, guys. Get this first down. Third down and five at the 40-yard line. Shotgun. Split receivers stacked to the left. Running back to the right. Takes a snap. Steps back. Quick pass. And he uh, was just out of reach of Paris Campbell. Just out of reach of Paris Campbell. He was trying to lead him. Oh, Paris should, probably should have caught that ball, though. It's the first drop I've seen from Paris all year. Mm. I mean, that was a, it was a fingertip catch, but, ah. Oh. Bombs away now. Make up for the last one. Right. Drop this thing in at the two. There's the punt. Nope. It's going deep all the way to the seven. Ah, uh, ah, ah, that's illegal block in the back. Good special good teams special right there. Team. Oh, yeah. it knocks him out at the 13. I thought that was illegal block in the back. There is a flag on the play. That sure looked like illegal block in the back of me. And and if it is, they're going to have the ball around the six yard line. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he got out to what about the nineteen? No, no, it happens where the block happens. No, I know. I'm just saying, but he got out to the nineteen, didn't he? Fourteen, I think. Was it okay? But the the illegal block happened around the eleven. Come on, guys. I, that, get... That's it. That's what the call that they're talking yeah. about is. You want me to get you a smoking jacket and a brandy? Make a daggone decision and make the call. Jeez. Oh, they're uh, calling tripping on the Colts. I, you sure? What? Looked like he went back towards the Raiders. No, it. Nope. It was on the Colts. Yep, tripping. Okay. I swear I saw illegal block in the back on the return, but no call. Now the Raiders have the ball. They were at the 14. That's 10 yards, so now at the 25. Offset eye formation. <laughs> Drink. Hand off. Get there. He gets about two yards before he is met by about four or five white hats. Right up the gut. And he got in there and got a little pressure, made the running back change direction. I agree, Spread Speed. It should have been an offsetting. Excuse me. Come on, guys. Nine minutes and 15 seconds left. Let's get this job done. 
We need to stop here, guys. Offset eye formation. <laughs> Takes a snap. Seven step drop. Quick pass. Boom. Grown or DeForest. DeForest swatted that out of the air. Third All down right. and eight upcoming. Can't get there. Second best thing is knock that bad boy down. I see Zaire Franklin back there out, out there back on the field. That's always yeah. good. Yep. Oh man. That was a that was Come a on. volleyball reject right there, buddy. Come on, man. Defoe, you gotta squeeze that thing. Squeeze that rock. <laughs> Wouldn't that be an amazing interception? <laughs> Third down okay. and eight upcoming. Come on. Shotgun. Back. Three receivers to the right. Running back to the left. Takes a snap. Blitz. Blitz. Blitz them. Get him. And he's yes. got it. That's a sack by about three different guys. Met him in the backfield. They the sent Julian Bucker, Blackman. Yannick and Gakwe and somebody else. Yep. They Might sent, have been Grover. They sent Blackman in on the blitz there. Well, I'll tell you what. Boom. Boom, boom. Yep. Unique and DeForest will be splitting that. Look at that hold on Blackman. He's literally got his hand in his. Yep. Good job by the defense. Finally, we got a blitz that worked. Yes, sir. Now let's go. Oh, nice block. Up hold the on to the ball. Just get away from it, Cootie. Get away from it. Oh, you, you cannot let the ball bounce that much. At that right. point, you just got to let it roll. Well, yeah. I mean, once he does let it bounce, but it's like, come on, man. But was that short? You should have just went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, fair catch. So now we're at the 18. I I, I, I don't like uh, Kiki Kuti being a returner right now. I'll tell you what. We really missed something with Hines yeah. on that trade. This that, that was the biggest thing. But Hines don't just want to be a punt returner. No, no. So I understand why he wanted off the team because he wasn't getting the snaps and the targets and stuff. I get that. Colts have the ball at the 18 yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Eight minutes exactly. Paris in motion. That's a toss sweep. Taylor looking for the edge. Gets about four before he's pushed out of bounds. It'll be second down and six upcoming. All right. Come on. I like. I like Scott Campbell's thought process here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, get one of them long sustaining drives. Don't leave it to your kicker either. Get it in the daggone end zone when you're done. What's up, men, Bob? Appreciate you. Shotgun, split receivers, running back to the right at the 22. Take a snap, hand off Jonathan Taylor. And he gets to the 25 before he stopped. It'll be third and five at the 25-yard line. All right, guys. Three yards. Mike, I am excited for any positive yardage. Uh, that's just how I am. <laughs> oh, third and three, they're saying. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Steps back, steps up. Oh, Get he's going to run for the first down. Get he's got it. it. All 30, day. 35, 40, All day. 45, 50. He cuts back inside. Oh, my goodness. Matt Ryan just ran for 45 yards. Matt Ryan's like, who said I can't run? Look at this, JT. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Matt Ryan just took a keeper for 40 yards, ladies and gentlemen. Starts at the 25. Takes off. Look at this. This is so beautiful. 30, 35. 40, 50, 45, 40, 35. Wow. Thank you, Ashton Doolin. Thank you, Ashton Doolin. That was... <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Let's go, O. Split receivers running back. He got a hike at ball. He does. Okay. Step up into the pocket. Stop. Throw. Nice little quick pass. Knock that out to fumble. That's a fumble, damn it. Get the ball. We got the he ball back. back. He came back for it. He never gave up on that play. Good job, MPJ. Bad Mo, fumble, but good recovery. Good Mo, I, hey, Mo Alley Cox went and stripped that right out of the defender's hands. Yes, he did. But 
Oh, man. Good catch. Good. Ooh, ah. That might be incomplete pass. Yes. That's close. Catch. One, two, three. No, that's a fumble. He had three steps after the catch. But watch, Mo Alley Cox. Yeah, he ran right. up there and ripped the ball right out of the defender's hands. Second and nine. Second and nine guy. at the 35 yard line. Takes a snap, quick pass. And that's caught. And that's speed, Paris. Speed, and that's Paris. Speed, and oh, speed, God, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Stay up for that drop, baby. Paris Who Campbell. Else? Paris freaking Campbell. And that's Go the stuff wheels. that Paris gives us. That's the stuff that speed is what we do not have in anybody else. Woo! Let's go. Oh, good job. Go Wheels. Man. Paris broke tackles and went to the house. God. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy for him. Go for two now, right? We got to go for two. Yeah, wouldn't you? Got to go for two, make it yeah, a okay. touchdown game. <laughs> Paris Campbell, he's like, I ain't going to forget to do my touchdown dance this time. Paris oh. Campbell, seven catches, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Come on. We need this. Fo- Pardon me. Whoops. That's darn points. Right. I understand. Shotgun, stack on either side. Taylor in motion. He looks. He throws. Threw it behind Taylor, and he's not going to get it. That was a lot of bobbling by Jonathan Taylor right there. Yeah, trying to make something before he got the ball. Yep. I mean, right. he bobbled it about 50 times before. But, hey, the Colts are still up. I see you changing the darn score. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It's not letting me. There and you know what? That's funny. That that touchdown. I've been saying all year, the two kind of plays Paris Campbell needs to run. Three, actually. You need slants. You need drags, and you need bubble screens for that man. And uh, if you want to give him a jet sweep occasionally here and there, that's nice, too. By the way, you see how many points the Colts have? Second highest scoring game all year right here. Second highest scoring game. Dude, I can't believe that Matt Ryan ran for 40 freaking yards, dude. (laughs) Yeah, Matt Ryan's like, I can't either. Oxygen! (laughs) Matt Ryan just broke Peyton Manning's long. Didn't he? I don't think Manning had a long a, a run that long before. Yeah, but he had about as much wide open space as they gave Peyton back in the day. <laughs> I know. Let's go, guys. Let's go. This defense is five got minutes left. We have a five minute or uh, five points. Oh, he's bringing it he's out. He's bringing okay. it out one yard deep and Stop good him. hit. No. He's going to be stopped. Yeah, gets to the 25. What is going on with the poor tackling? Come on, guys. You had him at the 15 there. <laughs> Video boss is like, they were like, he's ru- he's going to run? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, <geez. laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, dude. This is the first time you've had a chance to – Do this this year. Come on. Three receivers to the left. Running back to the left. Shotgun. Five-step drop. He's going to go for it all. He's going for it all, and he overthrows him. Good coverage right there by Julian Blackman. And I love the the package that they had because they had speed with Isaiah Rogers Sr., and then they had uh, Blackman, like you said, playing playing the deep, deep over protection. That's, uh, That's who you want on Adams right now, I think, honestly. Absolutely. Guys, 150 of you in here. If you haven't smashed that like button, please do. I'm trying to give you the best reactions we possibly can. If you want to donate uh, to support the channel, feel free. Three receivers to the left, running back to the right. Shotgun at the 25-yard line, second and 10. Man in motion is Moreau. Takes a snap. Three-step drop. Quick pass over the middle to Moreau. He's going to get 11 yards on a first down. Meatball says he went from Matty Ice to Matty Bolt after you right? say Bolt. <laughs> I ain't been sleeping on nobody easy. I've been talking about Paris for like three years. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. said if he just stays healthy when he's on the field, he's electric. Get him the ball. 
get him the ball. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Split receivers running back to the left at the 37-yard line. Takes a snap, handoff to the running Stop. back. Oh, Rodney. Oh, Rodney missed. Again, Josh Jacobs with that spin move is so good. We got a flag on the play. But that he spins out of every damn tackle I have seen. Illegal block. Illegal hands to the face. All right. On them for a change. Right. Finally. Oh, block in the back. Okay. As I said, illegal block. <laughs> All right. First and 20. Let's go, defense. Let's keep going that direction. Let's keep pushing them back. Oh, you man. Get a stop or get a turnover. First and 20, guys. This first Come and 20 on. is huge for us now. Come on. Under center, split receiver, single setback at the 27 yard line. Steps back, throws short. Get him. Get him. Get and him. Moreau went backwards. Go. He's going to pick up about six, five, six yards. Nowhere near enough. No. Second and 14. Bengals. Yes, Bengals fan. He absolutely did. He caught and ran and took off for a touchdown right after Matt, Matt Ryan ran for 40 yards. Yeah, this offense has actually been a big play offense today, and that's outstanding. JT, Matty Ice, Paris Campbell. Second down, 14, shotgun split receivers running back to the right. Takes a snap. Come on, Quick three-step drop to get Devontae there. Get Adams. There. And nice job, Kenny Moore. Good job, Kenny Moore. Was not fooled. He grabbed him, brought him down after another four or five-yard gain. Third down and long upcoming. Here's where we got to get him off the field. We cannot... It's four down territory for Raiders. I'm telling you right now, I, I, I'm honestly thinking about blitzing here. I really am. I'm I'm looking because our defensive front four is not getting the job done by themselves today. Third down and eight upcoming. Come on. Four down territory for the Raiders with under three minutes left down by five. Split receivers running back to the left at the 38. Needs to get to the 47. Takes the snap. And we do send a blitz. It's caught. Oh, Kenny. Good move, again, by Devontae Adams, stopping, cutting back inside, making Kenny miss the tackle, and then he just plows forward for the first down. That, that's, that's, that's fine. Kenny made a choice. You know, he had to. He had to pick one way or the other yeah. because because he would drop that so deep in the coverage. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't on Kenny Moore. That was a good move. It's respecting the man. You know, yep. <laughs> Adams is a... Another handoff, John. Get him. Or, there you go, Jacobs. Almost nothing. Give Taylor. him nothing on the ground. Make everything have to come through the air. He got a yard and a half on that carry. That's fine. Nothing that's going to sustain this bad boy. Let's go, D. Two minutes left. Twenty-five twenty. Come on. Ew. What's up, bub? That cigarette smells awful. Uh huh. Must have got a. <laughs> cat hair or something in it. That's disgusting. Blah. Now, nah, Ryan, Kenny didn't screw that up. That was that was all Devontae Adams. Kenny had to make a choice on that, and, you know, it is what it is. You got to respect Devontae Adams. You got to uh -huh. drop back. You can't let him just burn past you. And like you said, you know, or like I said earlier, you know, he makes a choice. He goes to the outside thinking that at least he's pushing him into the inside where he's, his guys will be able to finish that off. Yeah, I, I agree, Shreyless, that they definitely need to be doubling Devontae Adams. Now, yeah, speed speed is uh, – that's the thing I didn't like from Kenny. Oops, sorry. Oh, he, you're said, good. he said, you know, just more – just sat there watching him afterwards, and that's right. He he gave up on the play once once he was out of it. He just started walking, and it was like, no, dude, go in there and strip it that ball, yeah. finish that thing. Because yeah. if you realize, you know, Adams got another four yards out of it afterwards. <laughs> DJ, I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. I hope your nose is in the right place too. <laughs> I, I need it. I need something. Yes, and we, we were in the commercials right now, John. Mm, appreciate you. We got 150 of you guys are staying in here solid and strong and really appreciate it. And if you Absolutely. guys haven't, 
make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've been here with today, and and make sure you ring that notification bell. Also, want to remind you guys, Patreon. We got five dollars a month for Patreon. You come in on Wednesdays. We, you know, you guys can get on screen with us. We all sit there and just talk football, life, kids. You know, favorite restaurants, favorite food, favorite movies, just whatever. You know, just a bunch of guys getting together, hanging out. Plus, with that five dollars, you get all the exclusive content from Lawrence and stuff on um, leaving Colts. And then you get everything that we do here. So $5 a month. I think you guys might have a good time. Check it out. Absolutely. I just dropped the discord link in the chat as well. If you want to come in, join the discord, TJ Joe dropping $5 in the super chat right here. Appreciate awesome. my guy calling that. it right now. If the Colts D blows this, it's so overrated. The Colts D needs to do. I'll tell you a little something. I want to see some, uh, aggressive play calling rather than defensive play, aggressive defensive play calling. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Appreciate the dono, TJ. All right. Second and eight on the 47 yard line. Let's go, D. All right. Takes a snap, steps back. It's a dump off of Josh Jacobs. He was going to get about five, four yards. Okay. On the run, it'll be third down and two or second down. Now you're quit flipping it around on me. It'll be about <laughs> third down and two upcoming. There you go. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Oh, Close now to... it's third and four. Yeah. Come right. on, defense. Let's get yeah. it. It's four down territory for the Raiders. That's why I want to make sure they don't gain a yard on this play. Not a yard. The 39, they're at the 42 and a half. Shotgun takes a snap, three step drop, steps up into the pocket, quick dump. Oh, what a dump off! Ooh. Good tackle by Rodney McLeod after the pickup. First, oh, down. flag, flag. If there is a flag on the play. I want to oh. know what kind of what flag is here. Is oh. it look it's in the defensive secondary, so I uh, don't look good. Offensive pass interference, maybe. Come on, <laughs> yeah. When was the last time that's mm-hmm. been called? Holding defense. Penalties declined. Result of the play, first down. Okay. They got that on Isaiah Rogers Sr. All right. I I trust this defense. I'm telling you right now, they're going to make a play. They're going to get us off the field here. Come on, guys. One minute, 50 seconds left. Colts by five. At the 35. At the 35-yard line. They cannot give up a touchdown no matter what. Shotgun, stacked receivers to the left, takes a snap. No pressure at all. Oh, God, that's the ball. interception right there. Intercept that. Lucky, oh. that. lucky that was a drop. Second and 10, that was a drop bigger than shit. Number 80, see now. He's like, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It was there and then it was gone. (laughs) Cole, you dropped the shit out of that ball. That's what happened. All right. That couldn't have been a prettier pass in a better place. And you were prepared for it. And it just went right through your hands. All right. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Split receivers. Moreau in motion. Running back to the right. Takes a snap. Here comes the blitz. Quick. Ah, it's Adams again. Mm, Why are we lunging and taking these weak? Ass arm tackles. Come on. 15 yard gain down the sideline. And that was Isaiah Rogers. Yep. Who missed that tackle? It's just this look at this, this constant lunging. And and just I mean, really, why are you not keeping your freaking base and just driving through the player? You're just waiting for him to make the move, and then your freaking reaction time is terrible. One thing. Carr has is a really fast release. Three receivers to the right, running back to the right at the 19 yard line. Takes a snap, dump all. He's a bad pass. Dude. He was getting rid of that football. The fatty cut off that clean passing lane, made him uh-huh. sidearm it, and that's where he lost his this one. All right. I think you're about right, Shreyless. I think the defense is getting gassed right now. Hopefully, yeah. they got a little bit of juice left in them. They've got to. They've got to, guys. This offense has done enough. Come on. No. 
Green Bay's making a fight out of theirs, 21-28 down to Dallas. One minute, 35, second and 10 at the 19-yard line. I formation, takes a snap. That's a handoff to the running get back, him, and he's him, got room him. off to the side, and he's going to pick up about three, it looks yeah. like. It'll be third down and seven at the 16-yard line. Come on, Jeff. Get him out there, man. Let him know. Let him know, Jeff. Minute, 15, minute. Okay. They're just letting the clock tick. Then they so got him. far, we've held Josh Jacobs under four yards of carry. So far. Third down and six. Shotgun. Three receivers to the right. Running back to the right. At the 16-yard line, they need to get to the nine. Takes a snap. Four-man rush. Throws over to touchdown. No, he, he dropped, dropped it. it. He dropped it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my! Covered by Okereke. Was that a was that a DPI? That was a DPI right there. Yeah, not not. I was gonna say pass. <laughs> pa D pass yeah. defense. DPU. <laughs> pass upset. <laughs> PBU. Pass breakup. PBU. There we go. We oh. Call it PBU. Come on, one more, one more play, guys. Come on, one more play. One Fourth more down. play. Las Vegas Okereke, has got one timeout left. Knock that ball out. That was a good defensive play by Okereke. Yeah. If we stop them here, we win. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're down to one timeout. Now, they only need six yards. They yeah. only need six yards. Why are you showing our OC, guys? <laughs> Come on, uh, show, show somebody, show their OC so we can read his lips, damn it. Right. <laughs> Come, Come on, on defense. Make Come on, play. defense. Biggest play of the year for you guys. Enjoy this plane ride home right here. Talk about how awesome it was when you picked off Derek Carr and took it all the way back to the house. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Isaiah playing off Moreau by about 10 yards. Shotgun, three receivers to the right, takes a snap. We send seven guys on a blitz. That's incomplete, baby. I'm waiting for it. They're always so slow with these flags. All right. It's <laughs> <It's laughs> like, come on. Ladies now. and gentlemen, that's game over. That was, guess what? Stephon Gilmore on that play, even though the mm -hmm. ball was overthrown. Yeah. Stephon Gilmore was on Devontae Adams. Oh, he hit it. He knocked it out. He did. Watch his yep. hand come up. Yeah, that's Devontae ah. Adams, too. That's more of a <laughs> offensive pass inference. All right. Gilly Lock. Danny. Gilly Lock sealed the game for the Indianapolis Colts, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to have. I'm going to tell you what, one of the guys who made a big play in this game <laughs> is supposed to be on my show this week. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. The Indianapolis Colts just defeated the Las Vegas Raiders 25 to 20 as they go into victory formation. And that's the, the, the that's the game. Colts, Jeff Saturday, Park Frazier. Offense, way to show up. Way to show up. Thank you, Shrelis, for the fifty dollar awesome. donation, man. I appreciate that a ton. Wow, fifty dollars. Thank you. Colts win money bags. Mm -hmm. I think Shrelis. Remember, he dropped a thousand dollars on the Colts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Congratulations, and my all they friend, had to do was cover for the winning your, your your big hit. All they had to do was win this game, and they did it. I didn't even Gilmore, think about that. Gilmore clutch all season long. Absolutely. Shreyless was loving this game because no matter what, he just needed the Colts to cover the four, didn't he? So, yeah. He won 2700 bucks. Congratulations. Wow. On top of the other best he had. Gosh, what a week. Good job, Shrey. Good job. Absolutely. I did forget all about that, too. That's the trip.
<laughs> it was the only thing that was was we didn't have to sit there and and hope for Shrey because we were able to still keep hoping for the Colts because they were in this game all the way through. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all they had to do was not lose by more than four. But yeah, if you yeah. just win, it's over, and mm-hmm. they won. So you know, uh, awesome. Looks like DJ Abcool likes Parks Frazier tonight. I thought he did a good job today. Della Lines, we're going to hand in Shreyless a shot there. Good job. Appreciate you over here. Ben, but don't break defense. That's what we've had all year. That's how we won the Broncos game. Mm-hmm. Gilmore showing up one more time. By the way, we are now 3-0 and against the AFC West, Colts fans. 3-0 and against... The vaunted AFC West. This is three and zero. Yeah, that's unbelievable. The, the the good thing is, is this is the first time the Colts had a lead in the first half, walking into the half, and then not only did we have the lead, we lost the lead, and then came back and won. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yep. And, and the thing is, you, you look at this, Colts still only allowed 20 points. I mean, all year long, they've just been keeping these offenses. Now, Patriots got away from us last week, I know, but, you know, and, and Lawrence Moon Mason says, JT is back, and that's 100 per- Okay, it's moving too quick. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to put it up there. That's absolutely right, Lawrence. The offensive line has helped revitalize JT, so now we just need to keep going. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up, Jack? How you doing? Glad you're in here, brother. So the Colts win 25 to 20. Total yards, the Colts gave up 309. So they gave up nine more yards than what the defense wanted to give up because they always say less than 300. That's their line. They gave up 232 total passing yards, 77 rushing yards, only 4.8 yards a play. That's darn good defense. Our offense, 422 total yards, 215 passing, 207 rushing 7.2 yards per play and the number two runner on this team was matt ryan who had four carries 38 yards and a touchdown oh that's right the quarterback sneak i forgot about that absolutely absolutely Matt he's, Ryan our, was, he's our number two back now. Let's go, Matt yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Matt Ryan was 21 of 28, 229 yards, one touchdown, no turnovers, mm-hmm. none. The only turnover of the game was by Kiki Kuti. Yeah, yeah, and the balance, like you said, I want to go back to those numbers. That balance on the rushing as, along with the passing, guys, that's so fantastic. That is so, I mean – that right there is what's going to allow this offense to thrive. You know, we're sitting there talking about Paris Campbell making that catch and on his touchdown. He is not able to make that play if you're not smashing that, you know, with JT and you're not, you know, so you're keeping them them guys off, keeping them guys honest and it opens up that, that interior. And that's where Paris Campbell just finds this little crease and then boom, afterburners, touchdown, <clears throat> game over. Let's go. Yes. Absolutely. Guys. If you're still in here and you haven't hit that like, please hit that like. I appreciate it. This is very good. Absolutely. He one sack and one QB and no turnovers. I'll take that every, every game. And then just sit there and let this offensive defense do what they do. And Jonathan Taylor had 6.7 yards per carry outside of that big 67 yard run. He still ran just over four yards a carry, Mm -hmm. like 4.1. So, and then he had that 67 yarder. Yeah. Uh, and, so. and, and, and not to mention that this game was won when our defense didn't actually bring their best game. I mean, they were good, but there was times where we couldn't get off the field on third down, which we have done at a regular basis. So shout out to the just like I said, this was closest thing that we've had to all three phases of the team playing, you know, complete football all year long. All year long. I, I, Offensive line did a good job overall. Pass mm-hmm. protection did pretty good. They they tried to be mean up front in the running game. Now they they did they did let some guys get behind there in the run game. Jonathan mm-hmm. Taylor had to make some moves in the backfield to not have tackles for losses. But you know that happens occasionally. Yeah. Um, you know uh, we almost got a sh- uh, a chance to see J- uh, a Quentin Nelson uh, go <laughs> ham on a defense with a football in his hands. 
uh, came this close to doing it. I mean, he broke two tackles and then cremated one guy uh, with the football <laughs> yeah. in his hands, but then they called, then they whistled the, the play dead. Uh, but I wanted to see that man go 99 yards with that, or uh, 100 yards with that ball. I wanted to see Quentin Nelson go, I think it would have been about 107 yards because he was about seven yards deep in the end zone when he picked that ball up. Well, that's not counting all the extra yardage because, you know, Quentin's like, I ain't going to outrun him, so I'm just going to go find him and, and run, over, <laughs> run over every one of them. Oh, no, you ain't bad. What was that? Was that a speed bump? No, that was a Mazda. You're fine. Keep it trucking, my guy. <laughs> Absolutely, we cannot understate when Mo Alley Cox when, because we had two fumbles, because Michael Pittman Jr. also fumbled the football, all right, after his catch, and then it got it got moved back, and then the defender picked it up, and Mo Ali Cox ran up and ripped it right the hell out of his hands, and Michael Pittman Jr. re 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 picked it up. And that hustle, guys, that hustle, that that never giving up on the play. I mean, you hear it all the time, and, and we were we were you know sort of beaten up on Kenny Mo for that one play where he missed a tackle and just sort of, you know, walk Michael Pittman Jr. If he'd have done that there again, that would have been Raiders ball game over. You know what I mean? In the other way. So that hustle and that, that just not give it up. And, and like I said, cannot be happier for Park Frazier or and Jeff Saturday and Matt Ryan. And then just Colts nation in general. I mean, I know this ain't the year that we were hoping for, but this is the game that we we were hoping for this week. And right now, that's mm-hmm. that's where we got to focus. We got our 1-0. and oh, Now let's on to Philadelphia there at home. Top three receivers in this game, Kylan Granson, four catches, 57 yards. Michael Pittman Jr., seven catches, 67 yards, one fumble. Paris Campbell, seven catches, 75 yards, touchdown. Tutty, baby. Absolutely. MPJ. Let's get that fumble, replace it with a tutty, all right, my guy? Because, man, that was, oh, great game. Great game, guys. Great game. Now we just got to take this feed off of it, and then we host Philadelphia. Yeah. The yeah. undefeated Eagles. And I'm telling you right now, I this – stadium has you know there's life in this stadium you know i mean there's colts fans such as ourselves you know that we don't sit there and look at the tanking as really being an option as long as you're mathematically into it you know and and this gets us just that much closer guys toxic you could call the indianapolis colts gift pro shop and they will get you a 63 jersey only problem is is it may say pinter <laughs> no you can you can actually ask for a saturday jersey yeah i know Man, that is so awesome. I wish I had I wish I had some Jeff Saturday jerseys and go get him to sign some. Just hand them off to Rodney and be like, hey Rodney, could you get <laughs> all right, guys? I appreciate all of you. Again, this was a fun game. You yeah. know, we cussed a couple times. We screamed a lot. All right. I know I, I screamed a yeah. freaking lot. I don't apologize for the screaming, but I do apologize for the swearing, guys. I know that's that's not what you guys come here for, and uh, I'll work on that. I'll tell you what, Mason. Matt Pryor played one play when uh, <laughs> when when Smith went out with the injury, and that one play turned out to be a good run by Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and because he had help. Uh, but then he had came out right the heck out of that game really quick. <laughs> That's right. You know what? You know the coach is doing a good job when you can sit there and make uh, Matt Pryor a winning player for this week. Let's go. Let's go, offensive line. Now let's build on this because if this game, this is not good enough to beat the Eagles. It's good enough to beat the Raiders. Good on you guys, but now let's build on this, man. Let's Does Josh McDaniels this- lose his job now? Mm. I he don't just know. lost to a complete – Literal, I mean, the Colts over the last month have been a shit show. All right, mm-hmm. a disorganized shit show. And I, I, I hate to say it, after Sunday's game, that was the biggest shit show I've seen in years, okay? So Appreciate offensively. You, Appreciate you, Toxic. Have a good one. We'll catch you on Patreon, Bob. Yep. Guys, appreciate y'all. I think we're done here. Thanks so much. Um, Easy says, if we can beat the Eagles, I'll be enthused. I, I know, I know. That's why I said, you know, we got a big game. Uh, uh, We need to win three out of the next four without Mm -hmm. any question in my mind. Uh, But you lose to something like this, you lose to us. uh, That makes you wonder, you know, 
how's your job? How's your job with Josh McDaniels? Guys, shout out to everybody who's been in here. Uh, shout out to Shreyless for that $50 super chat. Appreciate you. TJ Joe with five bucks. Joe Mama with five bucks early in the game. Thanks again. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. That's Colts Loyalist. And as usual, have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.